Wow, time flies. Just like that, it's time for us to embark on the next phase of our journey. Honestly, Paimon's right. Time does fly, Chad. I'll say. It feels like it hasn't been that long since uh, I started my Fontaine adventure here and all that. And we came here and all that. And ah, Paimon is a balloon. She is so it's not a. Like, she, it was so wild. We need to head to Natland next. Yeah, yeah. Natland next. Yep. Never I called it a nation of dragons, but that description doesn't give us much to go off of. Uh, we haven't met anyone from Natland either. Yeah. For now. Exactly. Even when Inazuma was completely closed off, we still managed to run into people from there and other nations. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't know too much. Honestly, it's probably... Like Kind of knew bits and pieces before, but like I feel like it's the one one of the like kind of little we knew the least of. Uh, I feel like compared to the other nations. Huh. Could it be that there are no humans in Natland? <laughs> no, there, there are, Palmer. Don't worry about yes, it. Yes, yes. That look of surprise and excitement is perfect. Hold it right there. Now look at the camera and big smiles on three. Ready? Hi, hi, Charlotte. Hello, hello. Good to see you here. Okay, just make sure you get Paimon's good side. Wait, hang on a minute. What's with the photo shoot, Charlotte? Well, I heard you two were about to leave for the next part of your journey. After everything you did for Fontaine, the Steambird simply had to follow up on a scoop like that. Oh, I see. Oh, I have a feeling we're going to be short on material once you're gone. Aw. Oh, so you knew we were leaving. We don't need a big send-off. That's not really our thing. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not your style, but we got to thinking. And, well, a little change never hurt anyone, right? Uh, I guess, yeah. We? Wait. <sighs> Let's go, hey! We overcame side Let's go, side. Chad. Oh, feels like it was just yesterday. Oh my god, you know what? Don't be a stranger. No I will say, me. I was hoping Navi would be here to say goodbye to us. Maybe I, I'm biased. I don't care. I really am. I'm happy that she's here <laughs> saying goodbye to me. Hey. If you encounter any troubles along your journey, oh, I have a glue in his hair. Nice. No. Is everyone here? The distance between us. I'll say, don't worry. I will. If I have problem, I will use. I actually do. I actually do like to use Florin a lot. Not a lie. But I, I, I was going to get her just because of the designs, and I did it. But I am actually really happy that I got her because I actually do enjoy the play of her as well. Partings are inevitable, of course. Oh, but look at that. Distance makes the heart faster, right? Oh, it's really nice seeing, like, I don't know if everyone is here, but it's nice seeing all of them here. One thing will never change, though. We'll always have the memories we made together during this time. Also, I think it's, besides now, of course, I think it's funny. Like, we're seeing Farina saying goodbye to us. It's kind of like said hi to us when we first started here which is really sweet Whoa, you're all here. i sure you'll meet again let me know next time a festival rolls around already thinking about taking time off any excuse for a party huh i mean i like to have an excuse to see my friends you know but yes you can count on us <laughs> we wouldn't let you miss out on all the fun hey well in light of your impending departure Shall we take a photo together? Ooh, okay, I'll take it. Ooh, great idea. We even have a professional photographer with us. Charlotte, would you do us the honor? Oh, I need a screenshot of that. Leave it to me. Now just give me a moment to set the camera up. I wonder if it's going to be like a, a 2D art or it's only like... Yo, but I need, I need a screenshot of that, okay? Oh, by the way, you're overthinking the whole Natlan issue, Paimon. Natland has human inhabitants and its own unique culture, just like Fontaine. It's just that, because of their local customs, the native people choose not to leave. Hmm. They're not unwelcoming to outsiders, though. People travel there for business and leisure alike, and usually return with nothing but good things to say. Okay, that's good then. Many members of the Spina have visited in the past, too. Mm. Well, that's a relief. Hopefully, we don't get swept up in any major drama this time. Uh, yeah, sure. Sh sh yeah, surely that won't happen, right? It was like, surely, I mean, it happened like, what? Mondstadt, Liyue, Inazuma, Sumeru, Fontaine. Surely it won't happen for a sixth time, right? 
Right? Surely. Uh, hope you don't jinx us. Yeah. Don't speak too soon. Well, given your experience and skill in that regard, I have no doubt you'll be able to overcome anything that comes your way. Oh, thanks, Lauren. Thank you. Still, I hope you can avoid danger this time around. An uneventful trip might be a nice change of pace. Yeah, that won't happen. I, I know we're going to do some really epic stuff, but thanks anyway. All right. I'm ready. Shall we? Okay, let me see. Hey, look Welcome, at that. Traveler. Okay, I'll take a screenshot right now, by the way. Just in the in the moment, like, maybe we won't get it later. So let me take a screenshot right now. And then um, we can take it later if, like, it's a separate, like, you know, actual photo. So let me take a screenshot here real quick, real quick. There you go. Done. Okay. Let's go and do it. Bon voyage. Ah, oh, bon voyage. Hey. No. Uh, ah, that was really nice. Honestly, I really like this. Like, because I feel like besides Auto Nation, didn't have that much of like uh oh goodbye traveler like this, like farewell. We just gotta leave. Which is wait, it, it, it makes Spar like you know, the way we are, I guess. Like, we're just leaving like that. But I do like this, you know, being like, everyone saying goodbye to us. It feels really sweet. It really does. Also, let me take another screenshot, Chad. I, like I said, if they don't actually take the picture, might as well take the screenshot now. But it was really sweet that they decided to do that. And also, where is my mouse? I need to check this thing. Okay, there. There you go. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> what is this? What is it? Hey, why are you spamming me the best character emote all the time? How dare you do this to me? How could you? Ah, uh, even Durian's here. I thought it was really nice. <laughs> French. Oh my god. Not the friendship bro. Yeah, take this trusty partner guy. Also, yeah, thanks for reminding me. Let me let me hit Arena with um. Wait, no, no, dang it. Wait. All right, let me hit there with the friendship. Ha ha, ha ha ha. Funny, funny. I know, all right. You're really funny, Geshe Impact. You're really funny. Okay, let me talk to everyone before going though. Hi, Farina. Hello. Safe travels, traveler. You're welcome back anytime. If you let us know in advance, we could arrange even more people to greet you when you return. Nah, it's okay, Farina. That would be quite the lively affair. Aw. Okay, what about Cool Run now? Safe travels, traveler. That would be okay, quite... Okay, two of them, okay. Say by Charlotte. One picture to publish and one to keep for myself. Perfect. Aw. Okay. And Navia, Navia, my beloved, what have you say to me? I heard there's a place in that land that produces precious stones. Next time there's a lull in my work, I gotta go pay it a visit. Hey, yeah, please. Please do. Okay. Bye everyone. Uh, okay, so uh, oh, do I walk there now or something? I mean, I don't need to, but like, oh moly. Strike a pose. I could like do do a rain and just like walk there, basically. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I will be doing that, but I am just for consistency, chat. They should like not be like. Like, let me teleport through here. And just walk around there. Let's just do that. Like, at least that, okay? Let us go and do at least that. What a... Okay. 
go through here. Carving waves. Okay. I wonder who I wonder if Kachina is gonna be the first character we meet in 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 Atlant in Atlant, though. I mean it would make sense she's there like first, but I do wonder nonetheless. We are yeah, we're getting there. I hope that I'm going to the right way. There's like a, a way to need to go down or something. I wonder what, also, I don't think I forgot about I wonder if they're going to kind of like dialogue related to the statue this of the seven. This makes me want to lay down and catch some rays. Perfect sunbathing conditions. Carving waves. I don't see any... Any, like, entrance from here? Maybe there isn't, but... Oh, well. Oh! Yeah, we see the bar there at least. Oh, Farina, you can do it. Just walk on water. Go, girl. Go. Also, it would be good if they showed those places so, like you can like regenerate energy there on the map or something. It would be nice, you know, so we can have an idea where they are. Even if it was just a little mini symbol there, but oh well. faster on lone land. Hmm. And there's a little traveler here now since we are getting closer. Okay, got this one. Let's go near. Ooh, okay. Ooh, look at that shot. So this is Ooh, nice. Yeah, I do like the place in the in the feet as well. So many strange mountains and so many animals Paimon has never seen before. Yeah. Uh huh. Doesn't look like there are any cities around here though. Where should we start? Yes, yeah, just signs of human civilization. Yeah, Habitation, yeah. I mean. Finding people means we can learn information about the local archon. Yeah, in our never-ending search for my sister and seeing who is sustaining our heavenly principles or whatever. And once we've met the archon, we should have a better idea of what to expect during our journey. Yeah, I mean, I know what to expect at this point, honestly. But I'll see how it goes. 
If experience is anything to go by, that should be the case. Yeah, that goes one. Well, Paimon hopes this one is easy to get along with. As long as we don't get on their bad side, we should be fine. I mean, we eventually become friends with all of them anyway. So, you know. Well, except maybe the last one, but we don't know about the last one right now. Come on, let's keep following the road. Hey, there you go. Also, I was going to post the name of this quest on the on the on the stream, but it's so long. I was like, holy moly, nah, I'm good. I'm good, bro. Let's see. Wait, I wonder if Kachina is going to be the first character we meet here. Yeah, I just wanted to travel right now since, uh, for immersion, I guess. But if we need to go to long distances, Whoa. I might change. Check out those colorful pictures on the walls. We've got to be on the right track. Yeah, surely, surely. Let me... Ah, hold here. Let me just get more comfortable here. Okay. Ah, oh, there she is. Already found her. Oh, I didn't even saw that big drill there on the on I'm the upper tower. Kachina. I know it's not right for us to go back on our word like this. But Kempoa and I have to do well during this pilgrimage. Mm. You can't seem to find other people to join our team, and we don't have time to sit around and wait. But, but if you two leave, I'll be the only one left. Aw. I don't know why I already, I already look so sweet, chat. We really are sorry. Ain't but I, you I, still I have to be there, by the way. Chances. You're young, and you bear an ancient name on top of that. Ooh. A Tolkai. Uh. To Kyle, to, to Kyle? I, I, I see how to say that. Ooh, but ancient name. Uh, oh, yeah, we did hear about this. I do wonder why this is her ancient name. Is just like a Chino or like, is, is there something else as well? But yes, I am going to build her, by the way. I, I, I know I focus I focus mostly on while learning this stream, but I am going to build both of them. Because I do want to use her and all that. We're just it might take a while, tribal though. warriors with years of battle under our belt and no glory to show for it. Oof. Not to mention the physical toll of all that fighting. We're no longer in our prime. Oh, unfortunate, I guess. Uh, we barely had a chance last time, remember? Oh, look at her. expect a better result with even fewer people. Pilgrimage registration closes tonight. This is our last chance to switch teams. Well, all right. I guess it is what it is. Oh. I just wish I was stronger. I'm nothing compared to the other ancient name bearers. Aww. But never mind. I guess this is just par for the course as Uthabiti, huh? I'm sure Uthabiti. I'll figure something out. Hmm. Well, if we do well this time, there's still a spot for you at the victory feast. Yeah. Even though we're not participating in the competition together, we're still friends, aren't we? Of course. Anyway, you guys should get going before it's too late. Go form a really strong team, okay? Oh, I feel a little better with this girl, though. I know that we're not in our prime anymore, so, but, so I'm going to abandon you, child, so we can, you know, do other things. If we got a better for her, though, what do you do? Oh. Aww. Guess I'll have to wait until the next pilgrimage. Looks like that little girl over there was just abandoned. Yeah. Wonder what happened. Yeah, let's go check on her. Oh, she looks so sad too. Yeah. Oh, she saw us. Huh? Oh, oh, she just came here. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Oh, she heard us. Wait, I haven't seen you around the tribe before. Are you travelers? We are. Also, I love this music, by the way, that plays here. Like, this this track here is so good. Yep, we just got to that land. Oh, welcome, welcome. I'm Kachina. Uthabiti Kachina.
Utabichina. Oh, that's the ancient name? Yeah, Utabiti. Oh, that's something we call an ancient name. It's a tradition we have here in Natland. Yo, oh, sun goes hard. Oh my god, I love it so much. Explain. You can think of it like a title for now. Okay. If you're here for the pilgrimage of the return of the sacred flame, you'll find out what they mean soon enough. Hmm. So, this pilgrimage, is that what you were discussing earlier? Oh, yeah. It's a competition we hold every so often, where everyone competes to try and get the highest ranking. Hmm. The competition receives tons of attention, so if you place highly, you're guaranteed instant acclaim, and you earn the right to take part in the Night Warden Wars. Ooh. Basically, the winners become heroes, and that's pretty much everyone's goal around here. Sounds like a massive fighting tournament or something. Do you yeah. have to be in a team to participate? Well, due to the sheer number of participants, the pilgrimage is actually divided into two phases. Mm. Phase one is a team competition. Usually an ancient name bearer serves as the team captain and leads their team in various battles around Natland with the goal of capturing sacred flame. Oh, and an ancient name bearer is just someone with one of those titles I mentioned earlier. Someone like me. Okay, okay, okay. Seems simple so far. Once the team competition is over, the participants from the winning teams qualify to take part in individual one-on-one -on -one matches. So like uh, some kind of Natland National Games. Yeah, the skill seems pretty huge. I mean, I'm pretty sure it could do it, you know, just saying. Pretty sure it could like, like do it previously, but... Wait a minute. If ancient name bearers lead the teams, that means you must be a team captain. But with no members of your team? Sure am. Although, I don't exactly have any team members anymore. Yikes, that is... <sighs> the key to winning is in the strength of the team captain. That's what everyone says. But, uh, the difference in strength between bearers can practically be night and day. Oh. So, their decision does make sense. I'd feel the same way if I were in their shoes. Yeah, what's our plan now? All ancient name bearers have to take part. It's our duty. So if no one wants to be on my team, then I'll just go it alone. Oh, but that's so sad. Okay, can we just help this girl? Can we just go and help her? At worst, I'm looking at a few extra scrapes and scratches. I'm not great at fighting, but I always manage to get back on my feet in no time. Psst, traveler. Based on the direction of this conversation, Paimon thinks it might be time for us to do our thing. Yeah, it looks like he's that time already, yeah. Yep, yep! Time for the next phase of our journey to start for real! Yeah! Um, what are you guys talking about? Yeah, can we join our team? Huh? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy moly! Oh my god, look at that face! Like, look at that anime-ass face, like, huh? Huh? Like, what? Yo, what? What? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh my god. She looks so confused. Like, wait, what what are you, what are you saying? I don't understand. Okay. Oh, let me do something. Wait, wait. You guys might see something here. Wait, 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 wait. One moment. Wait, wait. Eh. All right. Sorry, my bad. I was just checking something. But, oh boy. Oh. Uh, just uh, how should I put this? Yeah. What is it? We we can because we're in our locals or something? I really appreciate the offer. That's so unbelievably generous of you. But only people from that one are allowed to take part in the pilgrimage. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Oh, Paimon thought we could just join your team and fight our way to the top and then become heroes. Dang it. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, chat. Close to so close. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. It's all right. Really? I... I mean... No one's ever offered to join my team before. Aww. Really? We're all usually on good terms, but... 
Whenever pilgrimage registration rolls around, it feels like everyone starts avoiding Yikes. Y yikes, man. That is unfortunate. Oh, boy. Uh. They don't make eye contact or bring up the pilgrimage. Oh, my God. It's like they're afraid I'll ask them to join my team. This is just horrible. I probably don't even need to explain the reason. What? Okay. I'm too weak. Down. It's pretty mm -hmm. obvious there's nothing to gain from being on my team. Yeah, my, oh. That really doesn't matter to you? Not really, honestly. Oh, don't you worry. The Traveler's strong enough for the three of us. Gods, dragons, giant narwhals. He can <laughs> Giant <one> narwhals. <laughs> oh, I get it. You were able to overlook my lack of strength because you're confident in your own skills. Yeah, let's go to one. You're actually a tough spot. I don't want to help you. That's right. We always try to help people out during our travels. That's what makes a true adventurer. Yeah. A true adventurer. You guys are really special. You know you're strong, but you don't take yourselves too seriously. That's exactly the kind of person I want to become. Aw. You're planning on staying in Natlin for a little while, right? Mind if I try to learn from you while you're here? Okay, sure. Learn from us? I don't know why you want to learn, but sure, I'll take it. Yeah, you know, like a disciple or a sidekick. You don't even have to teach me anything. I'll just observe. Aww. I promise I won't be in the way. Besides, I can take you to see the sights and introduce you to Natlin in the meantime. Okay. What do you think, Traveler? Seems like she really looks up to you. I mean, that's fine with us, but what about your competition? Oh, right. Didn't those people from earlier say the registration period was about to end? You don't need to focus on finding new teammates? Don't worry about it. I wouldn't be able to manage it this close to the deadline anyway. Aw, I took your bet for her, though. I lose all the time. I'm used to it. Everyone around me is used to it. Aw. So it's fine. No one expects anything out of me. Oh, my... Chat, I, I don't know what it is. She's saying all that is making me want to do like the the biggest DPS Kachina ever. I know she's in the DPS. Honestly, she's more of a sub DPS or something like that. Or a supporter, but like I wish I could. Just like go DPS Kachina, go burr, or like just delete stuff for her. With like with Beyblade. But if I manage to learn a thing or two from you, I might just pull off a win next time. Yeah, well, all right, but don't set your expectations too high. We're just ordinary people. Oh, of course, of course. I'm just glad you agreed. Well, come with me, you two. I'll show you where I grew up and introduce you to our tribe, the Children of Echoes. Okay. Seems like a promising start. Hey, there she is. We got our chat. Free Gachina, another one. Yeah, we got the thingy. Okay, let me... Let me just put C3 Kachina, boys. There you go. Let's go. Whoa. That thing over there looks super intimidating. You sure it's not gonna fall off? Well, there's a uh, Pyrocles there, by the way. <laughs> Don't worry. Our tribe works closely with stone. That's one of our symbols, actually. Oh, look at Nini there. It's not going anywhere, <laughs> I promise you. Mine is better, just saying, by the way. Mine my, my, is just way cooler. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> Many of our tribe's people love music and dance and have an amazing sense of rhythm. In the past, Outlanders have come here just to study our culture and exchange views. Okay. My parents wanted me to learn dance, but I wanted to become a warrior instead. Aw. Uh, I mean, you do some sick moves, by the way, doing your idol. Not gonna lie, some really sick moves. Okay, stopping here then. Oh, look at that. Yeah, they're so cute. And there he goes. Allow me to 
introduce you. This is Ayo, my Saurian companion, and also an important member of my family. Aw, hello. <laughs> I love that they keep like, keep hitting their dummies there. <laughs> Little fingers. He's saying hello. I think he likes you. Saurian? So in that land, you consider Saurians to be part of your family? Of course. That land is not only a nation of heroes, but also a nation of Saurians. They occupy an important place in every tribe. Hmm. Outlanders always seem to think of Ayo as my pet, but that's not the case at all. Oh, I see. Yeah. Your family Ayo chat. And I go on family. Adventures together, but he also has a Saurian family and a place to stay of his own. Sometimes he even brings his entire family over to eat at our house. Hmm. Okay. The children of Echoes have the closest ties to the Tepetli source, which are naturally very friendly to humans. The That's how our the relationship became what okay. it is today. Hmm. All Saurians have their own personalities, but I think calling them our companions pretty much sums it up. Okay. I mean, could even call them friends as well. I guess there's another way to like to, to put it. But yeah, I get it. <laughs> Brr. Brr. I don't know, I probably were going to like doing the whole story quest and all that for the, um, the little guys that know, just like, they're, arr, like, the little songs and all that. See? Ayo agrees with me. Oh? Oh! Hey, it's that little Kizara little one. Hey, there he is. You have a soaring companion too. Oh, what a sweet little thing. I think your friend here will get along with Ayo just fine. I hope they don't hate him because of the mark though. The little red mark. All right, you two go have fun. I've got some important business to handle and then I'll be right back. Oh, I like that it was actually, you know, mentioned about it. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. Is my, is my sorry just vibing there? Look at that, Chad. Probably some nice moves there. Check that out. Hey, yo, look at that. L look, look, like, the other one's like big chilling there, Ayo. But like, got my one should like straight up vibing there. Hey, yo. No mischief, okay? And you better not go leading your new friend astray, or I'm telling your parents. <laughs> Don't lead your new friend astray. What do you mean? Go. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. This is the most cherished and most sacred item in our tribe. It symbolizes the Wyab that protects us and grants us blessings. Okay. Wyab? Is that a god of some sort? Sort of. Oh. We believe the Wyab dwell beneath the earth, while the Pyro Archon hails from above. Huh. We hold regular gatherings here, actually. Our chief recounts and interprets dreams relating to our Wyab to decipher its will. Hmm, okay. The Wyab know the past and can foresee the future. Ooh. Isn't that extraordinary? Yo, that's actually pretty sick. Huh. Kachina, what are you doing Hey, here? yo, look at this man here. Chief! Oh, let me introduce you. Yo, what this a magnificent offer this, this man has. Look at that, and the shades. I appreciate my shades, Chad. We already established here that apparently I... <laughs> I care about shades more than anything else, but pretty cool, pretty cool uh, hair and shades, my, my sir. Chief, these two just arrived in Natlin. They're super accomplished adventurers, and they're letting me stick by them so I can learn a thing or two. <laughs> Why are you like look at me like that? Um, yeah. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That was the awkwardest below ever did. Like, um, ha, hi. It's kind of like when Stitch they say hi to Lilu for the first time. Like, hi. Like, it was super awkward. Kachina is a child of our tribe. Yeah. Her safety is my responsibility, so I'll just come out and say it. Uh-huh. I don't know how you met her, but I'm going to need you to prove your identity. Psst, damn. Thanks, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's no need for that. 
Chief? They're good people. I can feel it. She can feel it. She can feel it. A feeling isn't going to satisfy your parents, Kachina. I'm feeling concerned. I understand. How about... Uh, we show you our adventurer handbook. It's where all our previous travels are recorded. Yeah, how about it? Uh, seems good enough, I guess. Hmm. The people who belong to the Adventurers Guild are kind of a mixed bag. I prefer something more reliable. Like what? Hmm. Huh. What? You're the Traveler, and your Paimon is familiar. <laughs> it's familiar, but that is something. Paimon is a guide. Jeez, these rumors are getting out of control. Well, okay, maybe this one's not that bad. It does make you seem super powerful and mysterious, Traveler. Oh, uh, she knows who we are. I was like, wait, does no one in Natalie know who we are? Wait, is there something special about those names? You haven't heard? Nope. Uh, I mean, she's a, she's a kid, so I get it. <laughs> Learn well from him, Kachina. It's unlikely you've ever had a teacher of greater merit. Hey, yo, look at the, the two thumbs up. Hey, look at that. Chat. The double thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> really? To earn that kind of praise from the chief, you guys must be even stronger than I thought. Apologies for not trusting your I mean, it's Okay, bro. I, I, I totally get it. <laughs> In any other sequel circumstances, it would be super weird. Oh, don't worry about it. You were just doing your duty. Well, Kachina's still young, so you can never be too careful. As for you, Kachina, isn't registration about to close? Why haven't you headed out yet? Don't worry, Chief. I told my teammates to go ahead. I'll catch up with them in a bit. Mm. I may not be much of a fighter, Aww. but I am quick on my feet. <laughs> I still feel bad for her. I wish you could help her. It's for a little, it's for a little, this little poor girl. Kachina's trying not to worry him, huh? Yeah. I see. Well, I I hope I wasn't interrupting anything just now. If I did, just tell me where you left off and I might be able to help with the explanations. I think it's let me think. Oh yeah. I told them about the Wyab, so now's the perfect time to dive into ancient names. Good thing you're here, Chief. I don't think I could explain it very well. Okay. Oh right. That word kept popping up in our conversation earlier. So what does it mean exactly? Well, Natlan is a nation of heroes. Okay. Whose valiant deeds are preserved and passed down over time in the form of stories. Hmm. You can think of an ancient name almost like a label for these stories. By mentioning an ancient name, we remind ourselves of the epic sagas of heroes past. So it's kind of like a legacy then? Like a legacy? For example... The most famous bear of my ancient name fought in 27 Night Warden Wars. Hey, yo. By the time he fought in his last one, he was already over 60 years old. Even though he wasn't quite where he used to be physically speaking, he still managed to achieve top rankings during the pilgrimage. Impressive, right? Yeah, so why do people inherit ancient names exactly? Ancient names allow us to preserve the stories of the past. Hmm. But... They're also much more than that. Think of an ancient name almost like an heirloom okay. passed down from generation to generation. Do you have your stone on you, Kachina? Of course. Here, take a look. Ooh, look at that. Looks cool. Whoa, that black stone looks so mysterious. It's like there's something shiny inside it. Yeah, it looks like a feather. The Wyab decide who is deserving of inheriting an ancient name. Oh. Once a successor is selected, the name becomes theirs to bear, and their deeds are then preserved within it. Okay. As time passes, ancient names come to represent the heroic deeds of more and more bearers. Yo, this music is playing it, it, even it, it more is really good. Like, it's really, really good. Oh, Emily. In turn, the accomplishments preserved within it serve as an inspiration for the next generation of successors. Mm. Just like me. <laughs> I'm still not sure why our Wyab chose me of all people. But if I didn't know the stories of all the past heroes, how they never stopped fighting, 
I probably would have given up a long time ago. So, it's like a form of mental fortitude then? Then, you're saying this stone doesn't have any actual power? Like, it's not gonna make Paimon super strong or smart? <laughs> oh my god, Paimon. None at all. And that is precisely how it exercises its unique value. Mmm, so like, just records their like achievements? Kind of like that? Think of it this way. If you become a hero because the heavens granted you strength, are your triumphs earned or given? Hmm. Oh, Paimon gets it. If people start to ask those kinds of questions, the stories suddenly become a lot less inspirational. Someone had this to say about ancient names. Okay. <clears throat> oh, is it going to? Okay, lay on me. Our forebearers carved miracles into obsidian. Also, I'm loving the music that's playing during this cutscene. I don't know I said it already, but. Them and saw strength. Hmm. The miracles of the past become the motivations of the present. The limitations of the past become the breakthroughs of today. That's more or less the gist of it. So there's no rush, Kachina. Many people struggle to understand the Wyab's judgment after receiving an ancient name. Hmm. As long as you never stop trying to improve your abilities and surpass yourself, your time will come. That does very nice of you. Thank you, Chief. I'll get it together. Just you watch. Well, it's getting late. I've got to get to the Stadium of the Sacred Flame. Oh, we're going there? Uh, right. I'm not sure where you're headed, but mind taking a detour with me? Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm good. Is that where the pilgrimage is taking place? Yep. And outside of competition season, <clears throat> it's the place where our intertribal gatherings are held. Would the Pyro Archon be there? Of course. She's the most important figure in the entire event. Hey, there you go. Easy, easy job, Chad. Easy job. Easy. Sounds like a plan then. Let's go. I don't think we're going to be that easy meeting her, but you know, I'll well, take it. Well, if the Traveler and Paimon are with you, then I don't need to worry about your safety. <laughs> hey, yo, the guy like, nah, way. if this guy is here, I, mean, I don't even need to worry. Uh, Oh, okay, sorry, I skipped that one. I got so carried away just now, I didn't consider what would happen if our destinations were different. Hmm. Luckily, that's not the case. Or, well, I guess we just have to meet up after the tournament. Hmm. You sure it's okay you didn't tell the chief about your team? Yeah. <sighs> chief Pakal's a really nice guy. If he knew the truth, he might even ask to join me. But he's not as young as he used to be. Aww. And he's got some old injuries that still bother him. He's not cut out for any more attempts. Hmm. He'll find out what really happened when he sees me compete. I'm sure I'll get an earful for lying, but this is for the best. Aw, you're a very considerate person. Yeah. Your teammates left you high and dry, and you made sure they didn't feel guilty about it. Oh, how did you feel bad for her, though? Poor girl. It's not their fault, really. The pilgrimage is extremely important to the people of Natlan. I mean, but yeah, it is important to you as well, and they just did you anyway. What horrible people. We all grow up listening to stories about the heroes of the past and dream of becoming warriors with the strength to defend our nation. Mm. Not out of a selfish desire for glory, but to lend our strength to a greater cause. Anyway, don't worry about it for now. Once you witness the spectacle for yourself, maybe it'll all start to make more sense. Okay. It'll also be a great opportunity to experience our culture and history. Alright, time to leave our settlement. Let's head that way. Our last stop, the Statue of the Seven, is also in that direction. Let's go! Yeah, I wonder if we have any dialogue about that. We already, like, checked, but I'm curious if we're going to have, like, some type of dialogue, like, why we can, like, access the elements or something. Off we go. <clears throat> there you go. The statue is so pretty. Is that what the Pyro Archon is like? Oh, it's raining. Oh. You betcha. Beautiful, 
effortless hey, and yo. confident and absolutely awesome. It didn't work when you tried earlier either. Now we know that wasn't a fluke. What's going on here? Okay, so we tried it again as well, so... Huh? You can get elemental power from the Statue of the Seven? Yeah, it always worked before. This would have been such a good opportunity to show Katina how impressive you are. It's so weird that it's not working. There must be something about Natlan. Aw, I would have liked to see that. Yeah, I mean, don't worry, Katina. Uh, Hoyoverse, surely they are cooking this time. Maybe, just maybe, Pyro Travel will actually be a good character. So don't worry about it, they're cooking. I, I, I swear. Uh, or I was just coping hard. <laughs> what did they do? Sorry, Katina. We got your hopes up for nothing. No, no, it's all right. If anything, I'm even more curious now. Were you really able to gain elemental powers just by touching the Statue of the Seven? That's something only vision bearers can use. Yeah, I've always been that way. Still not clear to how or why, though. Mm. Yeah, that's one. Could you show me? Only if you want to, I mean. No pressure. Oh, yeah, sure. Take it away, traveler. So, I'm going to show her Dendro or something? Oh, Electro. Hey, look at that, just switching elements. Wow, different elemental powers wielded by a single person. I've never even heard of something like that. Oh, yeah, by the way, just saying, we we could switch between all elements. That's pretty cool. I, I, I really am hoping like this actually becomes a mechanic someday. Well, you can just switch on the fly or maybe in, do the same, do all of them at the same time or something. I don't do some, some kind of mechanic like that because we have, we have been like doing the story here and there sometimes. Like, I think it was, was doing Nave a story quest where we're like, we were like hydro. Then we switched to Geo to like, to help her with the whole avalanche and whatnot. So I do wonder if it eventually becomes an actual game, gameplay mechanic or something like that. Nope. Still just Geo. I mean, it was a good try, I guess. Anyway, I was right. You really are something special. Just wait until you hear about our previous adventures. Whoa! What's that? Huh? What? What? Ooh, look at that shot. Yo, that's a, look at this shot. This is a really good shot, by the way. I don't know why it's raining, though. It's still really free. Oh, that's a cuckoo soar. They fly high and fast, and they're always full of energy. Where's your time in Monsad? Right? It's been ages since that day we first saw Devalin. We've come so far. We sure did, Paimon. We sure did. Oh, before I forget, we've got a pretty long trek ahead of us. So here, take this. Oh, what is it? They look like shiny little gems, don't they? Don't be fooled, though. <laughs> it's actually candy. Oh, okay. My mom made them. Hey, free candy shell. Let's go. I always bring a few when I know I'm going to be out and about for a while. A little boost of sugar can really come in handy in a pinch. Woo! Paimon loves candy. Thanks. Look at that challenge there. Just like mocking me that I haven't done it yet. God dang it. Yeah, that's very generous of you. My pleasure, my pleasure. I've got all sorts of bits and bobs on me. I'm sure they'll come in handy at some point. Okay. Land of the Saurians. The flow, wait, in the flow through form challenge of the children echoes, like. Oh. Oh, it might be the event. Oh, I was like, wait, what is... Oh, it's probably the event. Yeah.
Oh, see, it looks, space look, it does look nice when like it's raining, by the way. <clears throat> okay, I'll take the pictures later, okay? It's fine, it's fine. Switch to traveler here. It's still gonna be raining when we come here, or let's see. Oh, it still is okay. Long way. How does the break sound? I mean, it's kind of raining, so I guess yeah. Great idea! All this sightseeing is making Paimon hungry. You say that as if you use your stomach to see. Oh, are you all out of candy? I've got some more if you want. That's okay. I've also got bread. Drinks, fried rice, roasted apples. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. You have fried rice? Huh? Whoa, you're practically a walking cafeteria. Climb on. I just like bringing a lot of stuff with me. As my mom always says, it pays to be prepared. They only come in handy every so often. <laughs> but hey, better late than never, right? I guess, if you don't mind sharing. I I, I would do that with Pyme on there, but you know, if you want to, you want to. Huh? Is everything okay, Traveler? Seems like you've got something on your mind. Oh, no, no, no. I was just thinking about what happened at the Statue of the Seven. Yeah, that was so weird. It has to mean something, don't you think? I mean, yeah. Probably. Actually, you know what? It could be because our Archon is different from the rest. Oh? Is she now? Different how? Yeah. What do you mean different? Well, I heard that other nations are cons of a long time and belong to a class of extremely powerful beings known as gods. Hmm. And that's not the case in now. Yeah, what yeah, what do you mean? Not at all. Every Pyro Archon in Natlan was an ordinary person before taking on the role. Oh. Huh. Huh, oh, that's interesting. Huh? A human serving as an Archon? Is that even possible? Yeah, that is kind of what Farina did, but... You find it hard to believe too, huh? Mm. So, that's not normal then? I guess I've just gotten used to how things are here in Natlin. Hmm... Well, based on what we've seen, that's not usually how it works. It can't be that easy for a human to become an Archon, right? Hmm... I wonder what the process is then. Pretty sure the Pyro Archon's the only one who can answer that. Yeah, I guess we need to ask her then. I do know this though. Even after becoming the Pyro Archon, the person in the position still grows old and requires rest. Oh... Okay. The Statue of the Seven may look a lot like our current Archon, but that has to be a coincidence. Countless people have held that title over the years. Hmm. I'll say I was expecting this reveal. So, like... Really? So, she just so happens to look like the Archon then? But then, like... I, I don't know. You raised so many questions, like... Oh, I should also mention... The pilgrimage is actually how we select the Pyro Archon. Oh. If can claim the title, you just have to prove your strength. <laughs> That is something. Right, if you're strong enough, you can just be the Pyro Archon, by the way. So the contest is all about how strong you are. That's right. We believe performance in battle is the most comprehensive test for a future Archon. Plus, when someone emerges victorious, it's hard to argue with the results. Huh. Our current Archon achieved an overwhelming victory. The result was obvious from the beginning. Okay. 
Don't just take my word for it, though. Even the tribe elders said they've never seen an Archon with such strength before. Hmm. They didn't say the Archons before were like normal humans. Well, then they became gods somehow. But I wonder if there's something more to that. Or if this one, you know, Mavuika is no more than just a normal human. Hmm. But it's just as Chief Pakal said. Today's limits are tomorrow's breakthroughs. Our future Archons will go from strength to strength. Okay. Okay, Paimon's gonna ignore the whole human becoming an Archon thing for now. It's just... If she's really that strong, do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing for uh, us? Paimon! Really, it's going to be alright. Uh, it's okay. We are, like I said, six, we are six nations. It's the sixth one. We dealt with... It should be fine, okay? We dealt with Raiden and Shogun. We can deal with other ones as well. If we think back to what happened in Inazuma... Yeah, I'll say it depends how she feels about us. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Our Archon's a wonderful person and very welcoming to guests. I think you'll get along great. Hopefully. I mean, I think we will. She didn't look antagonistic, so it should be fine. Yeah, you're right. It's not like we're planning on causing trouble either. <laughs> but yeah, trouble is going to follow us somehow, though. It'll all work out. He'll meet her soon enough. All right, Paimon's just about ready to... Huh? What's that? Oh? Yeah, why is that, actually? Oh, we call this a phlogiston chislith. Good things happen if you infuse it with phlogiston. Let me give it a try. Uh, sorry to disappoint, but only people from Natlin can use that power. Oh. <sighs> Let me try that out. Let's see. Infused with that. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. You can use it too? How? <laughs> I like it. She's like, wait, huh? Wait you, can, uh, uh, wait, you can use that? But that doesn't make any sense. I love the, the fast animation that she did. Oh, yeah. Uh, it just came naturally. That <laughs> uh, what? What is that? What is happening? Oh, oh, it's this way. Wait, look behind you. Something's coming. Hmm? What do we do? Is something after us? Should we get ready to fight? We're fine, we're fine. This here is Toto. Oh? Hi, you Toto. <laughs> it's me, Kachina. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Stop. <laughs> Imagine just saying, stop. Well, aren't we looking lively today? Did the chisel floor you over here? <laughs> Warm, isn't it? Casually roaring. Oh, so it was just a friendly Saurian. That's right. There's quite a few of them around here, and Toto's the friendliest and gentlest of the bunch. Hmm. He's always hanging around these parts. I swear he does it just to show off to any outlanders that might come this way. Don't let his size fool you, though. He's just a big softy. <laughs> I love the... He's just a big softy. <laughs> I see wish you could climb them, though. They don't really do anything, it's just there. I wish we could at least climb in or something. I don't know. I mean, like, while only climbs are in her trailer, I don't know why we could just climb in them naturally. Uh, what does the crouching mean? That's an invitation. He's offering us a ride. Well, don't mind if I do. Um, Paimon's not so sure about this. It's kind of scary, don't you think? He's huge! Uh, what are you scared of? You can literally fly. Oh, good point. <laughs> you guys have fun with that then. Paima will just float alongside. Oh, we're literally in Zed. Uh, okay. The sightseeing is even better from up here. <laughs> be the higher the vantage point, the better the view. Oh, that's really nice. Are you and Toto close, Kachina? Yep. 
When I was little, my parents and I, I wonder how hard it is for Palmer just float in the same a speed of Aikoto and all that. We were using to transport them flipped over on our way back. Mm. Toto wasn't even half his current size back then, but I still burst into tears when I saw him approach. I was afraid he was going to eat all the berries and sunsetias and leave none left for me. <laughs> oh my god. I see. In the end, though, he didn't eat a single one. Then put on auto, by the way. Even chased off a few other Saurians looking to snatch a few for themselves. After that, he used his big head to help get our cart right side up again. I've been bringing him fruit ever since. Oh, Aww. and I was the one that named him Toto, actually. Oh, see, so yeah, I thought it did like a little bit, but okay. the sheer amount of food he can eat, he pretty much grew like a weed. Before I knew it, he was already this big. Hmm. Were oh, see, yeah. rip those people that were there disappeared, by the way. Oh, there he is. Oh, look over there. That's our destination. The Stadium of the Sacred Flame. Okay. You can let us off here, Toto. Thanks for the lift. Arr, I like my wrong war chat. <laughs> it's an easy walk from here, so I say we head the rest of the way on foot. It'd be quite the trek for Toto otherwise. Okay. That's true, especially considering his size. Well, see you later, Toto! Bye bye. Okay, continue towards the stadium, the second flame. Teach your traveler here. Oh, here we are. <sighs> we made it. Okay. We made it. I'm supposed to meet some friends here, but huh, I don't see them anywhere. Maybe they're not here. Oh, is it Moalani and, and Kanish, maybe? Open your eyes, Slowpoke. We've been here this entire time. I've already lost track of how long you've kept us waiting. Hey, look who's here. Hey, there he is. Listen here, you. It's not just Kanish and Moalani's time you're wasting, but mine, too. Mine. <gasps> Oh my god, someone's pissed. Oh, see, Chad, I told you that. I, I never I never noticed until I saw the people watching. It was like, holy moly. And yet, they're kind of right. Aja has an animation that show his butt. <laughs> and I don't know why he never beat me. It's like, wait, wait, is he showing his butt there? Like, I was thinking, like, huh? Wait, is he? And I like, look at it. Yeah, it is. God dang it, Aja. God dang it. Also, I love my disbelief, me and Paimon, seeing a 2D character. Like, here, doing this. What the heck? That's a strange looking Saurian. Or, wait, is it even a Saurian? Take it down a notch, all right? You don't even know some of these people. Hey! There is him! My <laughs> Ben 10 extraordinaire. Just because Kachina's too nice to get mad at you doesn't give you an excuse to be rude to her. Hey, yo! Also, I love this guy. Oh, they, I love his design. But look at the eyes. The eyes are amazing, honestly. Like the, this, like green with like the orange. Like it's just really cool, honestly. And what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> you think you're the boss of? Hey, <coughs> oh, what do you think you're doing? Damn, you know I chat. Repair, repair jaw. It, it was a good partner for like maybe a minute or, or max. He he got sent to the sun. Die in a stupid death. It is what it is, though. It was a good run. Yeah, good run out. <laughs> oh my god. Just lightly tap and just, just gone. Just gone. <laughs> I've actually been right. looking like. I put him in a timeout for now. Sorry about that. D don't worry about it, bro. Don't worry about it. Sorry for your loss. Don't don't be. I didn't ever like him anyway. Aw, you didn't have to do that. How 
that just doesn't have much of a filter. That's all. I think I'll, I don't yeah. mind. I think a lot of jaw, like uh, I thought it has checks. Yeah, it's probably a jaw. Hey, there she is. Not what he deserved. Let's just hope the lesson sticks this time. Hey, go. Hey, there she is, Chad. Mulani, oh. <laughs> there you are. Hey, there she is. Looks like you made some new friends. And here I was worried you ran into trouble on your way here. Hello, Paimon's Paimon. I'm here to win. I'm here to, uh, I'm here to win it. <laughs> that is an interesting thing. Paim this is Paimon. Nice to meet you all. Yeah, a traveler. Uh, that's one. A traveler, you say? You came at the perfect time. The pilgrimage is a sight to behold this time of year. I don't see your teammates with you, Kachina. Where are they? Yeah, they all dished her. Oh, uh, they went to join teams with a better chance at winning. <laughs> so you're saying you've been ditched? Yeah, Again. she's been ditched. Uh, them still makes me mad, though. Like, how? Uh, she's so unfair to her. <sighs> that might give them an advantage during the team stage, but it all comes down to individual strength sooner or later. Yeah, well, I couldn't even promise them we would make it through the team stage. The outcome of the team stage usually depends on the ancient name bearer, after all. Wait a minute, did he? I don't know, but we, we all said like the, the team, the, like the ancient name doesn't really give any buffs, so it, no, it doesn't. It really depends on everyone's like teamwork, well, the team stage for the teamwork. And the other one for personal skill, so it, it shouldn't affect the, you know, the, like, you know, it shouldn't buff you if you just have it. Hey now, you just buy it to other people then. Here that can promise their team victory. You're putting too much pressure on yourself. Honestly, she kind of is. She, she kind of is. I feel like she's too young for all this as well. Besides, you're not lacking in strength at all. You just need a bit more confidence. Hey, yeah, she's right. You were only three victories short of reaching the Night Warden Wars last time. Wait, so if the pilgrimage is like a national sporting competition, then what are the Night Warden Wars? The former is a battle of skill. The latter is a real war. Hey, yo. A war against our eternal enemy, the Abyss. Mmm, the Abyss. So they're here too. Well, wait a second. You're saying the prize for winning the pilgrimage is the chance to go to war? That's not too far off. That's why it's called the Night Warden Wars. <laughs> Weird prize, but okay. Also, aren't we technically going to go there then? Is, I'm pretty sure we were at the Abyss in one of the trailers. The pilgrimage chooses the strongest warriors among the tribes. And those warriors fight to repel the Abyss in defense of our homeland. Hmm. Their names and deeds are then recorded in epic tales passed down over time. That is the highest honor you can achieve in that. Is it a day? I mean, it is, but I don't think they care, honestly. <laughs> yes, but that's the nature of war. Yeah. Danger comes with the territory. <laughs> okay. Resisting the abyss is our duty. But we're not alone in this fight. We also have the blessing of our Archon, which allows for our safe return. Damn, I gotta say, though, I feel like... I feel like ever since I heard, oh yeah, not not this really show war because like, we've been fighting the abyss for a while. Like wow, like if you like, not is just like a, a little, just a bunch of giga chats. So, like basically, like like they're always like fighting eternally and just like resisting this this whole thing. Like you know, the um abyss for so such a long time. There's so many of them. I mean, doing that like holy moly, they they straight up feel like they are built different or something like that. You know. Like, no joke. But anyway, I wanted to point it out because, like, oh, okay. Okay, I see how it is. It's something we call the Ode of Resurrection, which does exactly what it sounds like, basically. Oh? Resurrect people, you mean? Yep. So it's not so scary, really. Our Archon's blessing gives us the courage to keep moving forward. Okay. I don't know why. I know they s explain it. They said it's real. I feel like there's a big caveat there. Like, like people just die sometimes. They just come back. You know, they can always come back, you know? I feel like there's something there. Not as simple, you know? Yeah, just, you know, just as simple. Just come back and that is it. 
there might be something more to it than just that, you know? Hmm. But I, I don't know for now because, you know, we're way too early to, like, speculate on that. I mean, I could speculate it because, you know, it's just speculation. But I don't know. It feels like there's something fishy about it. Kind of like when they say, oh, the Akasha, we can do this and that, you know, kind of like the same vibe. But I don't know. It might be, you know, there are coaches, so they, maybe they can actually do it. I don't know. Let's go register. We don't have much time. Wait, what about you, Kachina? You're not really planning on competing solo, are you? She actually was. She really was. We really wish we could help, but we're not from here, so it doesn't seem like we can take part. There's no threshold to the number of participants. With the sheer number of teams, it's practically guaranteed chaos. Oh, dear. No matter how strong or experienced the warrior, victory is never assured. I mean, it wasn't about assuring victory. It was just a, about helping out. In a situation like that, it's always better to have someone to watch your back. Okay, she's ta he's talking about her because, you know, yeah, if, if depending on how many people there are, it might actually be like a, like a straight up a battle royale or something. Oh, how about this? When we register, why don't we ask if these two can have special permission to participate? Not a bad idea. Odds are the answer will be no. So if that doesn't work, well, I only have a few teammates this time. If someone else could take them, then... You're not asking me to lead your team, are you? <laughs> this guy. Look at you, mind reader. So, what do you say? With how strong you are, it would practically be an upgrade for my teammates. <laughs> Fine by me, but doesn't that leave you and Kachina as a team of two? <laughs> There's a world of difference between that and flying solo. Besides, we're a formidable duo. Ooh. I bet our new friends here will agree that two's always better than one, right? It is, actually. Oh, you mean us? Uh, I think they're definitely less lonely with Paimon around. Yeah, that's what's one. <laughs> You're right. Two is definitely better than one. Hmm. It's just like the old saying we have here in Natlan. No one fights alone. But what if I drag you down? Oh, don't, don't you're not dragging anyone down. Don't don't be like that. No. Listen to yourself. You'd be hard pressed to find someone in Natland who can beat us when we're together. <laughs> Hearing you say that does make me feel a little more confident. Hmm. <sighs> Still, teams rarely contain more than one ancient name bearer. People are definitely gonna think of us as cowards. Why though? Why? The rules don't forbid it, so who cares what they think? Yeah, I know, right? It's not like they left us any other option. Well, I'll leave you to break the news to your soon-to-be former teammates. I'm not good at stuff like that. Damn. <laughs> My guy, like, you know what? You do it. I, I, I cannot do this kind of stuff. Oh, I know. They deserve to hear it from me anyway. Uh, just give me a second, you guys. We can go sign up together once I'm done. I mean, you could at least try to see if I can join. I really want to fight, but I'll say, but oh well. Okay, where is it the pilgrimage on the return of the sacred flame? Oh, there it is. This is the place. Let's wait for Mulani here. Did you see the flags at the front gate when we entered? Oh, yeah. There were flags, weren't there? Uh, there were all sorts of symbols on them. Those are our tribal flags. One for each of the six tribes that make up Natland, including the Children of Echoes. Okay. Why the sudden tour guide routine? I mean, I'm kind of new here, you know. <laughs> I said I'd introduce them to Natland, and we've got nothing better to do, so I might as well deliver on the promise. Fair enough. <clears throat> well, I'm from the Scions of the Canopy. We live high in the mountains and have the closest ties to the Yunkasaurs. Oh, those are the name of those ones then, Yunkasaurs. My friend Mualani belongs to the people of the Springs, a seaside tribe. The scenery over there is beautiful, and you can find some really tasty fish. Okay. That just leaves the Flower Feather Clan, the Masters of the Nightwind, and the Collective of Plenty. Hmm. If we get a chance after the pilgrimage, I'll be sure to show you around. Well, if we're talking tribes, 
Allow me to stand in for our chief and welcome you on behalf of the people of the springs. Hey. Moolani, you're back. We were just talking about you. Everything settled on my end. My teammates took it unbelievably well, actually. Your reputation is really something else, Kanich. Hey. They probably just didn't see any drawbacks to your proposition. We're saying the same thing here. You, my friend, are a formidable competitor, <laughs> and they recognize that. Anyway, thanks for waiting, you guys. Let's go register. Okay, sure. I wonder if I can actually enter or not. Hello there. Here to register for the pilgrimage? That's right. I wanted to ask, though. These two travelers are very interested in the competition. Any chance they could take part? Yeah. I'm sorry, but only people from Natlan are eligible to participate. Lame, lame, lame. You couldn't make an exception just this once? This traveler is a renowned adventurer. He's more than skilled enough to participate. And I'm sure the audience would be interested in seeing what he can do. I mean, I am, like, pretty famous, honestly. So I'm pretty sure I'm like, wait, holy moly, is that traveler? Holy crap. It's not that simple, Miss Mulani. Even a single exception sets a dangerous precedent for countless interested parties in the future. The purpose of the pilgrimage is not only to select strong warriors, but also to collect contending fire from the battles. Hmm. This is the fire that fuels the sacred flame. Natlan is only safe from the invasion of the abyss while the sacred flame burns eternal. Oh, so there's another purpose for the tournament. That was the initial purpose, actually. Oh. Every participant, whether they win or lose, contributes to the defense of our nation. That's what makes it such an honor to take part. Exactly right, Mr. Kanich. Contending fire can only be produced in battles between people of Natlan. Or can they? I am kind of special, you know. <laughs> Outlander participation would inhibit the production of this fire, which could in turn jeopardize the sacred flame. Hmm. Oh, so it all comes down to the contending fire. I understand any part of this event, yeah. Well, you can still enjoy the event from the stands. I'll try to get you some good seats. That would be great! Tourists like us are better suited to being spectators anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder how long, though, we're we just going to be doing that. Bill, there's something Paimon was wondering, actually. Yeah, if the auto resurrection exists, why do we have to go through the process of selecting warriors? You read Paimon's mind, Traveler. Why doesn't everyone just fight together? You know, since you can bring them back to life. The power of resurrection has its limits. For starters, the Ode only works on those who bear an ancient name. Oh. That's also why ordinary people who emerge victorious in the pilgrimage aren't sent to fight the abyss. It's for their own protection. Okay. Although, they're still afforded the same honor as those who triumph over the abyss in battle. Hmm. That brings us to the other condition for resurrection. Not much to this one, actually. <laughs> Just one word. Victory. Victory? Oh. The victors shall burn bright. While the losers oh, must turn so to this ash. is where that phrase comes from. Only those who triumph over the abyss earn the right to be revived. Yikes! Defeat in battle not only means death, but also the destruction of your ancient name, preventing it from ever being inherited again. <laughs> Damn! So if you're like, if you're like, if you die because of like a skill issue, rip bozo, I guess. You know, we revive you. You slay you. They have only the strong then yikes that is a that is something the tales of the vanquished are eventually forgotten <laughs> and an ancient name cannot survive when the stories of its bearers are okay lost but that is time. a good point but why would victors need to be revived yeah they won right isn't it the defeated ones who need reviving you have to think about it at the team level for example Five representatives will be sent to repel the abyss this time. Okay. Even if four of them were to perish, the Ode of Resurrection would still take effect. All you need is for one person to return victorious. Hmm. Because every victory is a building block of our legacy. Of course, the team needs to be strong enough for that to be the case. Otherwise, the price of failure is still very high. That's why the first stage of the pilgrimage is divided into teams to instill in us the importance of working together. No one fights alone. That is what we believe. Oh. A lone warrior is one whose defeat is final. 
Ooh, that's a good that's a good phrase there. This all sounds pretty dangerous. Well, I, I'm pretty sure we can handle it. Well, that axiom is meant to be a warning as much as a source of inspiration. Danger is always present, but together we can move forward, united in the knowledge that behind every hero charging into battle lies the support of all of Natlan as well as our Archon. <laughs> Not to mention, the Abyss isn't an enemy with a concrete form. We're often just dealing with the fallout of its scheming. Ooh. I've actually fallen in battle before. I spent some time wandering the realm of the Wild. Oh! It was unlike anything I'd ever experienced before. Oh, so you died once. Okay. The realm of the Wyab? Does that mean the Wyab exists somewhere in Natland? Hard to say. The realm's not somewhere you can access by ordinary means, and very few people are capable of establishing a mental connection with the Wyab. We call this realm the Night Kingdom, mm. a mysterious liminal space between the body and mind. Also, this music in the background is like. When the background is pretty good. The fact that you were resurrected at all is the worst thing in the world. <laughs> God dang it. Really? What the? Then releasing you from your timeout has got to come in at a close second. Damn, the burn. Look at that burn. <laughs> you would do well to speak with reverence of the almighty dragon, Lord Kahula How. <laughs> Lest you live to regret it. Hmm. <laughs> If you're done arguing, your registration is now complete. Oh, there you go. It all went fairly quickly, considering we all know each other. Now, I just need to register your team members according to their name cards, and you'll be all set. In the meantime, you can all go rest at the hotel. As usual, dinner and lodging for tonight are free. Hey, let's go. Free dinner. I love it. Nice. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention... All food and entertainment before tomorrow's matches are on the house, courtesy of our Archon. Oh, heck yeah. Good to love that. Family and friends included, which means you both get in on it. Come on, let's go have some fun. Hey, there you go. Off to a good start, I'll say. I enjoy a lot already, uh, the whole Archon quest. And just to see how stuff is going to develop later. Oh, so enter through here? Interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is the inn. Let's go then. Ah, the white. Uh, oh, dear. Dig in, you guys. Eat as much as you want. Yo, what is that? These dishes are all local specialties. Okay. Yeah, those... I, I kind of want to say tacos, but I know for sure if it just is or something similar. What is that mountain? Like, what is that thing there? Like, at, at the left. Holy moly. Like, what is that? It's like a mountain or like something? There's more where this came from, too. So oh, it's just meat. Oh, okay. Until the bill gives the Archon a heart attack. Oh, my God. Yeah, that is um, yeah, a, a bunch of meat like stacked together. Okay. Don't be dramatic. The pyro archon is very generous, even if it does cause some trouble for all the hotel workers and volunteers. Oof! Rip all the hotel workers and volunteers. Then they're doing a good job, though. Speaking of trouble, I've locked a how away for now, so you don't have to worry about him being a nuisance. Damn! Rip my guy. Wait, isn't that a little harsh? Nah, Kenich and Ahau are always like that. Everyone has their own unique way of getting along with their Saurian companion. Hmm. Oh, what's wrong, Kachina? What's wrong? What's got you all down in the dumps, Kachina? Yeah. You don't have to worry about tomorrow. I'll be with you every step of the way. Aw, this is really nice of her. I know, I know. Everything's fine, really. I'm just... I'm just nervous. I can't keep using my age as an excuse. I have to get stronger. You're just a baby. You're just like a baby. Like, you are just like a so really young, though. I have to prove to people that I'm not trying to avoid the Night Warden Wars. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. Also, yeah, um... You know your own heart. So stop beating yourself up over other people's opinions. Okay, she is right. But I got to say, 
we are sending a child to go to Battle the Abyss, by the way. And possibly even die. And, and like, if she just die and loses, she's kind of just dead. Like, holy moly. If you think about it, it's kind of really dark. If they don't think you deserve to bear your ancient name, they can take it up with the Wyup. Oh. That's never also good for one. Oh, if you think she's she isn't like worthy, like talk to you know, go to Wyob and then question him, not her. Trust me, Kachina. The Wyob see something special in you. <laughs> I just hope it's not the fact that I can take a few punches. I guess the pilgrimage hasn't gone too well in the past. Yeah, I'm on a seven or eight pilgrimage losing streak. My ranking has been improving little by little, but Still no wins. Ah, oh, but it seems like you're improving, though. To be honest, losing seven or eight times isn't even a lot. Maybe other people can't see your improvement, but your performance still isn't something to scoff at. Mm. Yeah, didn't you say you got really close before? It's just... What if I don't even make it through the team stage this time? Aw, it's not bad for you. You're gonna be okay, you're gonna be okay, Kachina, okay? Hey, have a little faith, will you? You've got me on your team. Stumble, and I'll be there to get you back on your feet. Run into someone you can't beat, and we'll face them together. I know you've never tasted victory, but you trust me, don't you? Well, well, I'm... Aww. You're... You're Aww. the best. Aw, poor Kachina. This is a bad so bad this girl. I trust you. I definitely do. And you're right. I've got to pull myself together. Oh. I I kind of wonder to win, but also like, yeah, she's if she wins all that, she kind of need to go to war. <laughs> like fight the abyss and all that. Like holy moly. I still don't know why the Lyab chose me to inherit an ancient name. <laughs> but I can't be the only bear who's ever felt this way. If they can keep at it, so can I. Hey, there you go. Not to mention, the fact that your ancient name has survived until now means all your forebears managed to honor its meaning. Otherwise, it would be lost to us by now, shattered by defeat in battle. That's right! And you'll have us rooting for you, too! Your scholarship leader is one, one and two. No, no, no. It should be the other way around. I was clearly the one who has to learn from you. But still... <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Aw. Jeez, now I'm crying again. Everyone has been so nice to me. Damn, seeing that food actually, like, it looks pretty goofy, honestly, but I do kind of, like, make me hungry. Not gonna lie. I'll win this time for sure. I won't let your support go to waste. Hey, look at that. Oh, right. I should eat something. My mom said I need to keep up my strength for tomorrow. Nice to see your game face back, Kachina. Yeah. Thanks for encouraging her, you two. It's easy for people to only see how she has a lot to learn, so it isn't often that she meets people willing to treat her with patience. Mm. Don't you worry. We've seen how kind and hardworking she is. We can already tell she's a wonderful person. <laughs> oh, she's crying. Don't no, stop. No. Oh, my God. This girl. Can we just give it a hug or something? I don't know. Take it easy. You're getting tears in your food. <laughs> of course. Of course you're like, hey, come on. You're, you're going to like, get tears in your food, girl. I, I'll pour you all some drinks. I brought some homemade fruit juice. Let me just go grab some cups. Aw. Damn, she really is really, really sweet. She really is. Oh, there she goes. She even travels with homemade juice? Impressive, I know, right? <laughs> Kachina's backpack is practically a bottomless pit. It's got everything. <sighs> That's true, but she definitely only offered us some so she could go find somewhere to cry for a little while. Aw. Uh, we don't need to point that out, you know. It's okay. Seems like you two really look out for her. She's like a little sister to me, you know? She's already so talented. She just needs that one decisive win to convince her of it. And I have a feeling this is the one. This could be the win that finally gives her that confidence. Why are you so sure? Is that what happened to you? Oh, no, no. I was just born confident. <laughs> Damn. 
<laughs> no, oh yeah, this happened to you? No, I just, I was built different though. I, I, <laughs> I know this, what, this isn't what she said, but it's not like the energy she gave it. I was just born confident, like, damn, okay, girl. Mulani's being modest. She's already a three-time veteran of the Night Warden. Wars. Hey, yo. Came out on top each time. And she's never had to be resurrected. Damn. Straight up like, nah, bro, I win. Build different. Never die, by the way. Like, just a winning streaks here. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> it is, right? Like, holy crap, girl. Nah, it's no big deal. The opponents I had to face were pretty tame, that's all. Ooh, no wait, that makes it sound too unimpressive. Yeah, like, like for for me, I, I I see that as different. Like, wait, like my opponents were no big deal. Like it wasn't even, it was just that easy. Like at least that's the way I see it. Either way, the challenges haven't been that difficult so far, but I'd love to fight alongside Kachina and experience the glory of victory together. The flowers, the applause. Okay, okay, I see. I, I, I did want to know more about Moalani in general, her personality and all of that. She looks pretty cheerful, but I do want to, you know, learn more about her. And it's good to see, like, more about her now and all that. Like, the, the, my girl is straight up built different. Like, holy moly. Paimon gets it. That's how Paimon and the Traveler are, too. Five side by side? Are we really? Of course. Just think about it, Traveler. Where would you be with I mean, I would still be fine somewhere. Drinks are here. <laughs> better try them while they're still fresh. Okay, that was fast. Feeling better now, Kachina? Me? <laughs> I'm totally fine. Really, I promise. That was just nerves earlier. Mm, okay, okay. I'm gonna get some meat in my system, then head out to get some exercise. Wanna be nice and loose for the tournament tomorrow. I'll come with you. Just don't go overboard, okay? The last thing we need is for someone to oversleep. We've got an early day tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> if only we had a friend who never oversleeps. Hmm. All right, fine. Make sure you guys are up on time. Attaboy. We need hey, attaboy. I gotta love all of them. Look really nice. All, I, all this group. Oh, I gotta welcome. Look at that. Hey, there you go. Before the competition tomorrow. Yeah. I'm still a little worried about Kachina, though. Maybe we can help her out with her training. She did say she wanted to learn from us. Not that Paimon's gonna be doing much of the teaching. Sure, I'll, I'll, that was a pretty good idea. Yeah, let's go there. Let's go and teach her some moves, chat. Where are they, though? Where are you at? Where are you at? Okay. Oh, how do I leave this? Where, where do I leave this place? Wait. Oh, there you go. Also, good thing that I already did my dailies, by the way. Like, holy moly. There they are. Hello. Uh oh. Hope I didn't die there, by the way. Ooh. Kachina! Oh, it's you two. I just finished training with Mulalani. What's up? Well, you worked so hard to introduce us to Natlan, we wanted to return the favor. Yeah, I want to help the best you. Uh. The best you can, yeah. To do the best you can. There you go. I know it's speak. Wow, you guys are exactly like Kachina described. No wonder she's already your biggest fan. Guess I should make myself scarce, though. Kachina was the one who helped you out all day, so I don't want to intrude on your secret teachings. Uh, you're just a simple piece of advice, actually. Huh? What do you mean? Observation is also key. Observation? Study your opponent, master their habits, let wisdom become another weapon in your arsenal. Yeah. Yeah, the person who hits the hardest is 
isn't always the one who wins. Oh, I... I think I get it. You're saying, fight smarter, not harder. Having the strength to win is just as important as knowing the right strategy. Atta girl, Kachina. Exploit your opponent's weaknesses while maximizing your own strengths, and you're sure to find opportunities to turn the tides in your favor. See, there you go. I mean, I, I thought it was like show some moves, but I guess there's no need. You're right. I just need to focus. When I get nervous, I forget to assess the situation and end up rushing in without a plan. Hmm. Mind sticking around a little longer, Mualani? I want to try out some new moves. Hey, there you go. Sure. Thanks for taking the time to teach me, you two. I won't let you down. Hey, there you go. Just give it your best shot. I wonder if this affects the, the result or not. Like, at least oh, ever so slightly. Okay. I'm not keeping you up, am I? You sure you'll be fine tomorrow? Oh, I'm bursting with energy. Couldn't sleep if I wanted to. <laughs> oh, that was very nice. Okay. Okay, Traveler took some damage there, so oops. With me. <coughs> Let me heal a little bit. There you go. Anyway. Let's wait until next day then. Okay. Let's go and teleport and then go there. Carving waves. There you go. Right here. Morning. Looks like everyone's here right on time. <laughs> Good to see that no one overslept. Says the one who only made it because I was there to get you. Oh my god, Sky. Wow, not so loud. You're gonna give me a headache. Well, if you don't do well today, we know who to blame now, don't we? Hey, there you go. Yeah, blame the little dragon there. See how your friends talk to me, Kanich? I help you wake them up, make sure everyone's on time, and do I get a thank you, a how? No, I get told off. Is is a how? Is I think it's a how because of the J, but it's supposed to be a R. Let's see. Let me hear again. See how your friends talk to me, Kanich? I help you wake them up, make sure everyone's on time, and do I get a thank you, a how? No, I get told off. Yeah, I think it's a how. Okay. Yeah, I'll try to remember that. I was like, you love to cry animation. No, what is this? No, what is this? It's really cool. Mulalani's right, though. <gasps> the, the reaction. The big mouth, like, what? Yo, wh huh? What do you mean? <sighs> Hopeless. Every last one of you. I'm just hoping when, when he's going to do the butt animation. All right, moving on. How did you sleep last night, Kachina? I had some nerves at first, but my bed was great. I fell asleep the minute my head hit the pillow. Hmm. That's good to hear. Maybe you handle stress better than you know. The competition's about to start. Did everyone eat something? Wait, what? Wait, what was that? <laughs> well, I, I wonder who's here, huh? A little. Didn't want to overdo it. God dang it. I forgot to do that. Hi, Nilu. Hi. Wait. I, I need to do this. I, I wait, 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 wait. Chat. This is my friend. This is Juvia. She's here. And I need to take the screenshot to prove to her that, that she, she's literally here at this moment. She's not watching my stream. I'm pretty sure not. So I need to take the screenshot to prove it to her. What are you doing, you silly Billy? What you doing here? What? What do you have to now? I mean, granted, I'm pretty sure she doesn't know I'm doing this right now, but might as well. 
Might as well take the proof here. Just so she doesn't forget about it. There you go. Let this finishing to screenshot. I'll see what she wants in a moment. I thought that might happen. Here, I brought you some. Oh, thanks. That's actually really nice of you. No thanks necessary. I'll treat you to something even better once. Attention everyone. Oh. The tournament is about to begin. All contestants proceed to the venue. I repeat, all contestants proceed to the venue. Well, I'd say more, but that's our cue. <laughs> Oh my god, look at her there. The opening ceremony is what kicks everything off. You should be able to see Kachina and me from the stands. We're counting on you to cheer us on. Don't worry, I will. Me, Paimon, and Nilo are <laughs> to cheer you up. Don't you worry. Paimon's gonna cheer so loud, you'll hear it across the stadium. Yeah. Thanks, you two. I'll be sure to keep Also, I want to out. skip the dialogue, but I don't know if like it's going to continue or not, so I might as well not. Well, we should get going. See you later. Hi right, guys. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, come on, Neil. Say, say bye to all of them. Oh my god. Attention, everyone. The tournament's about to begin. I don't feel bad though. I all wish you could at least like tell her. Take your seats. Left. I repeat, all spectators, please take your seats. Mm. Oh, that's our cue. Yeah, it is our cue. Wow. We've definitely never witnessed a competition of this scale before. Let's go in once you're ready. Yeah, let's see. Is it going to... Yeah, it is going to load... Oh, I... <laughs> the fist click. I'll go back to my Arkham Quest low. Hey, wait, wait. I, I need to do this, chat. Wait, one moment, one moment. One moment. Okay, so she she just misclicked. Okay, okay. Don't worry. I always win anyway. I, I need to send her the screenshot. Like <laughs> I mean I wanna see at least it was her. It, it was her. So let me let, let me do something real quick here. Where where is she? I must choose careful. Hesitating will do you no good. Don't worry. I always win anyway. One moment, Chad. Let me just do this, then we're going to do back to the Ark Quest. Give up. Mm. Hesitating will must no choose good. carefully. Anyway. Right, right. One moment, chat. Let me just message her real quick. All right. I did what I wanted to. Let me just go back now. And first, let me get out of call. And let me put the reject just to be safe. But I think I'm going to proc the cutscene again, I think. Let's see. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Morning, traveler. Morning. Looks like everyone's here right on top. Says. Yeah, just keep following. It's, it's fine. You don't do well today. We know. See how you're. Mualani's right. <sighs> All right, move. I had some nerves at first. That's good to hear. The competition's about to start. Did a little. Oh no. We were so busy. For I thought that might happen. Here, I brought you some. No thanks necessary. Attention, everyone. The tournament is about to begin. All contestants proceed to... Well, I'd say more, but the opening ceremony is what kicks up. Don't you worry. Paimon's gonna cheer so loud, you'll hear it across the stadium. Thanks, you two. Yeah, there you go. Well, we should get going. Okay, bye. bye. I wonder how long it will take for us to participate in all this. I feel like it's going to happen. Like, we're going to participate regardless Attention, somehow. Attention, everyone. The tournament's about to begin. All spectators, please take your seats. I repeat, so funny, all though. spectators, please take your seats. <laughs> I, at least she didn't want anything. I hope you got a bad, like, oh, I'm kind of doing our conquest now. I need to leave. I hope you got a bad just asking her, of all people. But at least we should, it was just a misclick, but still kind of funny. Oh, that's our cue. Yeah. Wow. We've definitely never witnessed a competition of this scale before. Let's go in once you're ready. 
Mm. Okay, okay. Mm. Okay, let me. Oh, yeah, let me do something about the chat real quick. First, I want to check. Is there any recipes here? Yep, there is some recipes. Nice. Also, let me do something real quick. Need some high calorie food urgently? You've come to the right place. Whoa, whoa, my chat. Now we can continue here. Man, why is this person like always win anyway? Like, holy moly. Yeah, let me just do something here real quick. Then we can continue. Sorry, there's no delay. Need some high calorie food urgently? You've come to the right place. There you go. All right. All right. Okay, done and done, chat. Let me just go and continue. Let's go. Entering the stadium of the Sacred Flame? You won't be able to leave the arena once the tournament begins. I see the system, man. Enter. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I can do all the stuff later. Continue. The pilgrimage right. of the return of the sacred flame is a competition with a long storied history. Countless hopefuls have gathered here today, each vying for the same prize. The right to serve their homeland in the Night Warden Wars. Okay. I do wonder though, if we're going to fight as like Kachina and Molani doing this whole thing or not. Before we begin, allow me to remind everyone of the rules. Today's tournament begins with the team stage before advancing into individual competition. Hmm. Hey, Each look at team that. Will board a hot air balloon, which will land at a random location. Okay. Let me take a screenshot of this. It looks really cool. You can see him up weaker there in the background as well. Hmm. Wait. Yeah, I mean, let me take a screenshot of this. This is just a, a cool shot. Here, there you go. Okay, cool shot done. Let's continue. Contestants must search for fire towers within the contest grounds, accumulate contending fire through combat, and bring a sufficient amount back to the stadium. Hmm. Defeat in combat, departure from the contest grounds, and running out of time all lead to elimination. Only the strongest teams will be able to withstand the onslaught of battle and return to the arena, blazing fire in hand. Huh? Hey. Only those who emerge triumphant in the team stage earn the right to take part in the individual battles. The outcome of these one-on-one -on -one really matches cool. not only affects the contestants' individual scores, but also determines their next opponent. Okay, not a, I didn't think it's not a screenshot here. Look at this. They're just so pretty, man. Hey, yo. Okay. Let me. There you go. Put this. And let me save another screenshot because holy moly. The game is just, just not making it easy for me, chat. I swear. Like, I, I, I need to keep taking screenshots because it's so pretty. After many rounds of battle, the contestants with the top five rankings will get the chance to take part in the Night Warden Wars. Hmm. Now, let us welcome our Archon as she delivers the opening address. Ooh. Is it going to be the same speech that we saw during the Natal teaser? Hey, the transition, though. Hey, look at her. Holy moly. Holy, holy crap. Damn. Look at that. Yo, that that, that, that her hair is amazing, by the way. Skill, strategy, fortune, form. Many factors influence strength, but victory never lies. Ooh. Yeah, that hair, I love it so much. Like, 
I was like, yeah, I don't know who was it. What if you make her hair on fire? Genius. Like, you gotta raise it. <laughs> I know it was it, but I love it. The pilgrimage is not merely a trial to determine yeah. the strongest among us, but also a stage <laughs> it. upon which to showcase your individual I don't know. growth. I don't know who was it, but yeah, that person was right. Among Us, the world was forever like ruined by the game Among Us. God dang it. Today marks the beginning of yet another legendary saga. One written in the triumphs of the victors. So... Without further ado, let the games begin! Hey, look at that. So that's the Pyro Archon? Uh, is it just Paimon, or does she seem kind of intimidating? I mean, God of War, Pyro Nation, it's okay, don't worry about it, it looks pretty fine. Oh, look at that girl just vibing at the, You guys cannot see it because, like, Chad is, like, in front of her, but she's just straight up vibing there, like, dancing, like... The other guy looks kind of fine, but she's like... Yeah, like just casual dancing there. Kachina said she was friendly and welcoming, but uh, how did she come to that conclusion? I want to talk to her. Yeah, but it would be kind of rude to bother her during the pilgrimage, don't you think? Yeah, maybe after it ends or something. We should wait for a better time. Oh, oh look, it's Kachina and the others. Well, folks, it's clear the contestants are already raring to go. The teams will now board their hot air balloons and make their way to the competition grounds. Oh? Hey, yo? Oh! Oh, she's here! Okay. Also, yeah, I think I said it once. It, it may, I think we'll probably see a better shot of her later. But I thought she originally was going to be like a cryo character, but supposedly she's animal. And I was like, Huh? Like, wait, is she? Like, so I'm super confused. Well, I mean, we can see it now, but like, oh, oh, I think I do remember when I first saw it, I was like, oh yeah, she's probably a cryo character, but apparently no, she's animal, which, okay. Kick their butts, Itzna! Oh, Itzna? Go, Mulani, go! You can do it, Kachina! Hey, look at that! Hey, that is so fine with support I've ever heard of it. Let's go! Ah, uh. and the crowd goes wild. The hot air balloons are about to ascend. Contestants, prepare yourselves to take flight. Oh, oh, she. Oh, okay. So she is here, though. Remember the rules. The balloons will take you to random locations, and your battle starts the moment you land. Best your competition. Damn, her, her hair. Sacred fire. Damn, that hair is so crazy, stadium. and so is her eyes as well. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, what are we going to play with them? I think we are. Guess this is where we're starting. Let me see. It seems pretty quiet around here. Looks like we get to ease ourselves into combat today. Let's head that way. We don't need to worry about avoiding other teams. Anyone that crosses our path can kiss their chances goodbye. Damn, yeah, well, I was like, nah. Like, don't worry. Like, you came, you're going to beat her? Me, me? Nah, I can do it. Okay, I'll follow your lead. Just remember, don't hesitate. The team matches are all about keeping the energy up. So let's do it. Hey, let's go. And with that, the pilgrimage is now underway. Time for the contestants to give it their all. Ooh, a fire tower and an unoccupied one from the looks of it. Be on the lookout for an ambush. Careful, we've got company. All right, Gina. Let's <laughs> Looks like we've got our an easy start. <laughs> Perfect timing. We've got to fight to generate contending fire in the first place. So let's go. Winner takes all. Loser gets lost. Hey. Getting started. Grab the fire and let's head to the next spot. Currently in the lead, we have Chaska, one of the contestants from the Flower Feather Clan. Amaru has taken out six contestants in a row. What a legendary competitor! But can his hot streak continue? Huh? 
Oh, well, aren't you two an interesting duo? How did these monsters make it onto the grounds? It's part of the tournament. If you can't handle a few monsters, how are you supposed to repel the abyss? Look, why don't we handle these monsters first? Then we can battle it out between ourselves. <laughs> Skills aren't half bad. I think I've got a good grasp of what you can do. Sorry, but not everyone can make it to the end. You're run. Yeah. Nicely done, Kajina. We we actually beat a legend. Come on, don't just stand there. Let's grab the fire and go. We have a new team pulling ahead. Mulani and Kachina have already eliminated several favorites for the win. I knew someone would show up. Hand over the Let's sacred fire and no one gets hurt. Hey, let's go. For the win, it's not and Unkunga have run into each other. Looks like it's gonna be an early goodbye for one of these formidable competitors. Hey, let's go, yoink bonk. Right here. This mountain is huge. Is the next tower really all the way up there? It's gonna take forever to make it to the top. Just leave it to me. I'll get us up there. Ah, oh, we made it. Great work, Kajina. <laughs> Glad I could help. An empty fire tower. We're too late. Darn it. So close. And another competitor crosses the finish line. Yansan from the Collective of Plenty, certainly living up to some lofty expectations. Uh. Kachina, is that you? I'm sorry about this, but since we ran into each other, I can't just let you pass. If you want glory, you'll have to go through me! Every minute that passes, fewer and fewer contestants remain in play. The remaining competitors need to hurry if they want to... Hold it right there! That fire is mine! <laughs> in your dreams, I think someone needs a reality check, and I'm more than happy to oblige. <laughs> put up a good fight. I'd like to see you try. Hey, let's work together. Good idea. No way I'm gonna have you. Let's go. Go. Hey, let's go. We collected enough sacred fire. Still doing all right, Kachina? Yep, all good. Come on, let's head back to this. <sighs> Out of the way or get the way out of time. There's a spirit way over there. We can ride it back. Right here. Hey, hey there you go. Yep, yep. Faster. Hey, let's go. Oh, we really lucked out. Just grab onto me, Kachina. I'm not sure if you remember, but people from my tribe can ride spirit ways over great distances. Ooh, it's all nice. sailing from here. Thanks, Mulani. Hey, what are you thanking me for? We won as a team. There's no way I could have taken on that many people without you. Have a little faith in yourself. Hey. You're already a great warrior. Oh, look at that sun there. Or, you know, sun rising there. <laughs> oh, those were some steep curves. Not scared, are you? I'm fine. 
I don't scare easily. Not after that last ride you took me on. Mm. Oh, yeah. Back when we first met, right? I accidentally knocked over your piece of cake, then offered to take you spirit oh. away surfing oh. to make up for it. Actually, I was feeling pretty down that day. My training didn't go well, and... Aw. Anyway, you really cheered me up. Mulani, I... I really want to win this time. I want to win this pilgrimage and become a true warrior. That's what I like to hear. Hey, there we are. I saw them. Hey, we did it. There you go. Congratulations, Mualani. Congratulations, Kachina. Hey. You successfully cleared the team stage. Heck yeah. You did it. Amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> Look at that guy in the back all like to the left there. Like, he's like, uh, he's not saying doing anything. Congratulations. Keep it up, Mualani. Kachina, Mualani. Hey, look at that. That <laughs> Bob is really like trying, like, oh my god, like, I'm going to like hype her up so much. You're gonna, Woo! Kachina, Mulani! Holy moly! Holy moly, even Zach is saying stuff. Holy crap, chat, look at that. You two can take a short break while the team stage comes to a close. We'll draw names to determine the individual matchups in a moment. Mm. After that, we'll proceed to the next stage of the competition. I wish you both the best. You two are assigned to different lounge areas. If you'll follow me, please, Kachina. Solo Ooh. battles next, and I was three wins short last time. I've got to do better. But that was a really good transition, by the way. <sighs> Just calm down, Kachina. You're in good form. You can do this. Okay. Like, I'm pretty sure you can do it, depending on the enemy. You are Geo. As long as there's an element there to, like, to cause crystallize, there's a pretty good chance you can survive too long as, you know. Hold it right there. This is the contestants lounge. Unauthorized access is prohibited. Um, what? Uh, what is happening here? We're contestants too. Let us through. Um, do I smell poor losers, Chad? Do I just smell poor losers? According to my list, you're not among the individual match contenders, nor are you related to any of the remaining candidates. Yeah, I smell, uh, I, I smell poor losers a mile away, Chad. I already, I already know. Well. We'd still be candidates if it was just based on strength. We only lost because two other contestants snuck up on us like cowards. If you could just go contact the referee, we'll wait right here for you to... Damn, that is, um... Yeah, that is curious show your part, bro. Ugh. Wait, you two are... Well, look who we have here. Uh, oh, boy. Us? Your little trick got us disqualified. What? What little trick she didn't do anything, bro? Since we've crossed paths again, let's settle this once and for all. We'll see who truly deserves to advance to the next stage. Uh. Fight us. Right now? I mean, you know, if it, it was a little unnecessary, you're kind of like just being mean. Don't mind him, Kachina. Tournament rules place you under no obligation to honor that request. Our loss is a loss, and that's final. Yeah, and every pretty bad losers honestly you don't just stand there get security over here now forget the rules isn't the pilgrimage about picking the strongest warriors she just happened to catch us off guard it was all luck i mean luck is also a skill in the battlefield you know i mean you're saying this now but if it was so it was like in a, on a war or on a serious battle you wouldn't be dead, bro. You'd definitely be dead. Exactly. Now's our chance to duke it out fair and square. Maybe we duke it out fair and square. Kachina! Damn, that was fast. I happy to oblige. Who are you? Traveler! Paimon! What are you doing here? Oh, that's right. Or oh, like, people that know the... Like, they're quick. Like, the participants that can be here. I remember that. We just came to have a chat and then all of a sudden these guys were threatening you. Huh. You're not bullying Kachina on our watch. Uh, thanks, you guys. I don't know your names, but if you really want to face me, I'll allow it. Hey, yo. It has to wait until after the tournament, though. I need to focus on the upcoming matches. I don't want to let my parents down. Or any of the friends who helped me get this far. 
That's enough, you two. Being caught off guard is not an excuse. You think you can cry foul play when you face the abyss? Yeah. If this behavior persists, you may find yourselves barred from future competition. <sighs> Whatever. Let's go. Yikes. This people. <laughs> that are you all right? Mad You're both. not hurt anywhere, are you? No, thanks to you. To be honest, I totally blanked out just now. I had no idea what to do. But it was like, yeah, just, it's all right. Just relax. Right. I, I'll show them what I'm made of. Hey, there you go. Confidence. That more like it. You can do it. Yeah, have my confidence. <laughs> I heard there was trouble. Has the situation been resolved? Um, yeah, kind of. Yes. It was nothing out of the ordinary. A couple of sore losers coming to stir up trouble with the contestants. <sighs> Some people are so obsessed with glory. They can't even bear the idea of failure. I hope you don't let him get to you, Kachina, because you'll need to get ready. Your match is up soon. That came up quick. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> well, guess I'm off. Good luck. You can do it. Oh, we're controlling her now. Oh, nice. Oh, so yeah. Thanks, Traveler. I only can talk to Traveler. To Pavan, the traveler for like the Kachina and all that. My man actually spoke for her. Pretty, pretty great, honestly. Have faith in yourself, Kachina. And don't get too tense. <laughs> Is this how I choose to talk to Traveler? He didn't say anything. He just nodded. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We issued a warning to those two troublemakers. Try not to let them get to you. We get people like that every year. The pilgrimage symbolizes glory, and some people can't accept missing out on the chance to claim it. Hey, let's go. You must be Kachina. You know, people told me I got lucky in the draw, but I beg to differ. There are no coincidences in the arena. Hey! If you're standing here, it means you're strong. No matter what anyone says. Hey! Hey, look at that, my man. Put your some respect in her name. That's what that's what I want to see. So, I'm looking forward to seeing what you're made of. The team stage ended before I had my fill of battle. <laughs> I hope you don't disappoint. Hey, yo, my guy's like, is ready for some battle. Also, I do like the en these enemy design, like, of this guy. It looks pretty nice. Well, anything you want to say in return? I... I won't lose to you. Not when so many people are supporting me and cheering for me. And I... I really want to earn a spot in the Night Warden Wars. All right. Our contestants have yeah, we're fighting to go to to, your places, <laughs> to bring everyone. the child to bar chat. Begin. Oh, oh well, let's go. I mean, we should be able to do it. Clear the area. <gasps> Come on, you can do better. I mean. Damn, my guy's like, hey, yo, my guy enjoy that? What I'm talking about. Nice. <laughs> I actually lost. <laughs> Knew I had an eye for the good ones. Guess that means I was right about you all along. Congratulations, yo. Why the fuck, my guy, though? Win. Let's you actually took the series of like, oh, I now, see. So you were really good, huh? Like, okay, I respect that. I respect that. That's one down. <laughs> I wonder who's going to be the last one, though. Or we're going to see the other matches, though. 
Hmm. Okay. Hey, let's go. Oh no. I mean, she did a good job. She got the kick on the face about that guy, but she did a good job. Okay. Who is? Where do you come from, kid? Think you've got what it takes to go to war? <laughs> I suit that for like, wow, yeah, we're really fighting this just to go to war. Oh. I hate to break it to you, but it won't be easy to get through me. And you are. <laughs> you don't recognize Oof, me? That is all I <laughs> asked. Figures. Our generation's been in decline ever since Atea and the others retired from the front lines. Hmm. Either way, once we face off, you won't forget my name anytime soon. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay. We Hear that? The exhilarating cheers of the crowd. That's why I'm here. Oh, so yeah. Why is my um skill on cooldown? I don't understand. Let her rip. Okay. Is he like a shrimp? Oh, oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> Damn, you're a shrimp boss fight. Holy moly. I need to get more. Impressive, I'll say. She's strong. I can't rush this. Just like the traveler said, I need to observe my opponent and look for an opportunity. It's not just about who hits the horn. Come on, Katina, you can do it! Oh, this is a pretty cool moment, I'll say. This is really nice. Okay, let me take a screenshot. Oh, uh, I really enjoyed this arc. I'll say, at the beginning parts of it, it is very really nice. Let me take the screenshot though. Okay, Chida murdering, <laughs> murdering someone and yeeting them out, and they unfortunately collapse, collapsing. And I know it is what it is. 
Okay, let me go here. And there you go. Let me take the screenshot the moment Kachina just murders someone. <laughs> I mean, she's probably fine because of anime logic, but you know. <sighs> Gotta hand it to you, kid. You really impressed me. I take back what I said before. Hey, there you go. You've got what it takes, Kachina. Youngsters like you, you'll forge your own miracles. Ooh. I do like their design, though. That is pretty sick. And it's Kachina for the win. We'll now head into a short break as our contestants prepare for the final round of competition. Okay, is the final round going to be someone we know then? For now, you just like face demons and PCs. I wanted it to be the last one. I was nothing really. You were great out there. You faced a lot of impressive competitors, but they never stood a chance. <laughs> I don't think I did too shabby either. I've never gotten this many points before. You ready for the last round, Kachina? Mulani! Oh yeah, hello, hello. I got permission to come see you before the last round starts. Based on your score, it looks like you'll make it to the Night Warden Wars if you win your next match. Ooh. But, uh, your final opponent... It's me. Oh. <laughs> okay. I had no right. I'm going to fight you. What? Yeah, that's another unfortunate. Error. Yeah, I just found out myself. We're really close in the rankings, so... Only the winner gets to move forward. Aw. Uh. But I... I wanted to fight alongside you. I did too, but it is what it is. People with similar scores tend to get matched against each other. Oof, that is unfortunate. But we just have to get past it. War is cruel, and the Abyss certainly isn't going to go easy on us. Only Natland's strongest deserve to stand against them. Mm, yeah, that is pretty unfortunate, though. So, I'm going to give this battle my all, Kachina. And I hope you do the same. To hand victory to your opponent is to take pity on them. But no one's asking for pity here, yeah? So, you ready? <laughs> the yeah. It reminds me so much of Walk at that part. Like, yeah? I know it's like, yeah, but it's not like, yeah. Like, no, no. <laughs> it's kind of like Walk said it, but. Oh well. I, I'll do my best. Hey, there you go. At a girl. So, if one of you has to lose. Who should we cheer for then? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about Paimon. We are the neutral party here. We cheer for everyone and console everyone, regardless of the result. <laughs> you mean one of us is destined to win? It's something worth celebrating either way. See, I know, right? I'll be happy no matter who wins. And I know you feel the same way, Kachina. So, don't overthink it. Let's just have ourselves a good match. Hey. <laughs> okay, I'm happy that she said that. For a moment, I thought like Mualana was going to say... Uh, it's okay. We, we, we can try our best. I'm going to be anyway, though. <laughs> I thought she might say something like that. No, she. Uh, thank God she did. But I was worried for a second there. Why if she just straight up says that to poor Kachina? Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you after the match. Kachina, I'll see you on the field. Hey. There she goes. Good luck. I've been training so long for this. And Mualani's helped so much. I'm going to show her that it didn't go to waste. Thanks for believing in me. I'll try believing in myself this time, too. Aw. Okay, I was like, you're not going to make me use Mualani after all that, huh? Cheerleaders, one and two are here for you, no matter what. Hey, nice. Competition is no place for regrets. Leave it all on the field. I have faith in you. Oh, thanks, Tonya. Uh, I know, I know, I should call Tonya. Stonina, there you go. Probably that. I, 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 thanks for the, your faith. Uh, your faith in me. I appreciate it. Is she going to like, be surfing all around? By the way. Ooh. Hey yo, even a whole a whole cutscene. Uh, oh my god, stop. You can do this to me. 
Yo, whatever he's controlling. Oh, that guy is really excited. Why was doing to control beat the camera man? This is, you cannot do this, okay? Give it up for a long time contender and first time finalist for the children of Echoes, Kajina! Hey! Aww! Oh. Yeah. Also, I swear to God, if she's using like the freaking um, her freaking five-star weapon. But the guy knows, huh? You've come so far. Still nervous? Why does it have to be you? Still, I'm glad in a way. Even if I lose. I won't have any regrets. Come on. Kachina, this is no time to be modest. I know you want this more than me. And it's about time you start sounding like it, okay? I don't know why. Like, more learning now, I give you so much, like, Pokemon trainer it. vibes. Not exactly, but like, like I want to see what your, what your saves can be on all that. Woo! Also, this one is just, okay, I was testing. Oh, the boys, the boys, all over the street. Ooh. Man, we're here uh, doing the Archon Quest. Oh, the first act, though. What are you doing right now? Oh, yeah. Um, well, we are doing the Archon Quest. That's what we're doing in Genshin. Ooh. I thought we were going to fight it, but I guess it makes sense if it's like oh, a whole cutscene. Holy moly. Hey, yo, the Drew of Priest of Heavens. Oh, ooh, that was pretty good. Ooh, she actually won. Hey, yo. Hey, not bad. Actually, holy crap. Them. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Aww. I'm so sorry. Oh. I went. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that your uh, your Genshin isn't working properly. Oh, say why your Genshin isn't working? By the way, yo, she's really good though. She did it though. She, did. I actually was a holy crap. She actually did. And with that, the winners of this pilgrimage have been decided. We're gonna do a dragon quest. Um, I, I only gonna do the act one. I might just check my dailies and all that, and I might end stream later because I, I've been streaming for like more than twelve hours now. Like just waiting for the version to be out, like all this stuff. I explored, like did this and that. So I might just end stream. After I finish at least act one. But it's always like do dailies after that, check some resin and all that, so and I don't know how long I am to the act one ends as well. Something wrong with my account almost done fixing? Oh I hope everything works well though. Carry on my account? Um probably not now, maybe at the end of the Archon Quest. I don't want like do something especially now i don't even can do that now i don't mind doing it but i can only like well one i i, I want i can look at the full account it would take too long i can look at one character if you want to but i need to do it after i finish all this i don't want to do it at the middle it's going to break all the face of the story and all that so if you are willing to wait i could do it after i end the first whole act put your like hands the first, together the first for act and all that. as we welcome them to the stage Ooh, wait, I want to know who is going to win, though. No, you're just like, I gotta give it an idea. Okay. You have to take Okay, okay. With her sixth consecutive win, 
Cheska of the Flower Feather Clan. Yeah, they're. <laughs> Yo, what? Okay, okay, okay. First, she's animal. I I don't know why. Second, why is this angle? Get shit. Um, um. I have to ask, what is this like? I feel like like on the past you were like, oh yeah, we need like chose the angle. And granted, they're being kind of like half funny, especially with the videos. When I with the game, why is this angle getting? Why are you doing this right now? I noticed I've been doing this in, this in this version. I don't know why. I'm not complaining. I just noticing by the way. But but yeah, I'm still like confused. Like no, this like why is uh what is the name again? How are you supposed to be saying it? With her sixth consecutive win. Cheska of the yeah, Chaska. Why is Chaska an animal user? I'm so so confused. I thought she was gonna be a cryo, but apparently she's animal. And from the cutscene that I saw, she is. I don't know why though. Anyway, uh, let's move on. She managed to turn the tides all by herself. Ionsan of the Collective of Plenty. Yeah, he's an animal vision thing. Like, okay, Ionsan. With an explosive comeback 10 years in the making, Kaiulani of the People of the Spring. What? Okay. What? <laughs> Mommy, oh boy. Okay, why is a NPC character here? I, I, and not, and not, and not a Mualani. I feel this so disrespectful, chat. So disrespectful. A seasoned and renowned warrior, Kibungu of the Scions of the Canopy. Look at this. This is so disrespectful. Where is. <laughs> What? Where are the, the main characters? Why there are two NPCs here? Last but not least, finally living up to her true potential, Kachina of the Children of Echoes. Hey, look at that. I'm happy that she is here, though. I'm truly happy that Kachina is actually here. Woo! Over here, Kachina! Aw, look at that. I, I made it. Feels like a dream. Oh, okay. I thought she was gonna cry again. This is no dream. Your strength is what got you here. We'll be going to war together. It's an honor to fight alongside you. Hey, look at that. No matter how many pilgrimages I witness, I'm always overwhelmed with pride in this moment. Most mommy character, tell me what's your um. Pride for you, my brave warriors. What's mommy you character? Give me faith that our innumerable sacrifices uh, are not in vain. That the future of Natland shall burn with the brilliance of a blazing fire. Is my I, I assume you have Wika. Uh, yeah, yeah. As far as you know, she's the Archon. Yes. Brave warriors, the following is an order. And also a personal request. Would you like some interesting stuff Go about the Archon, apparently? And crush the abyss. And the way to... Seize victory and glory for Natlan! Hey, there you go. But yeah, uh, would you like some interesting things uh, already about, like, the the way the Archons are in Natlan and all that? And, and some stuff. But she does seem to be the Archon. But there is something, like, kind of weird in what they explained earlier. We need to wait we, if we can talk to her, though, to see if we can maybe see what the problem is i guess but also in regards to your question i don't know honestly honestly of all characters at least like personality wise that gives you more like mommy vibe is probably lisa honestly i would say yeah miko's over yeah miko is more like she's more of like of like she likes teasing others instead of like necessarily giving like a mommy mommy vibe if that makes sense as you can ask Hey, I saw something. Why are there too many PCs here, Chad? I don't get it. Uh, as you command. Hey, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the screen. Welcome, welcome. We're still here and we're doing the Archon Quest. And also, the stream might get cut a little bit at the beginning because I already passed the 12 hour mark. And on YouTube, that kind of counts as, you know, they just cut it after 12 hours. So if you missed the beginning, it's probably because of that. Just the beginning, the beginning hours, not the not the part of the Genshin. The part of Genshin is all fine, but I decided just not to cut it this time. Just let it be. So it might get cut a little bit in a weird part at the beginning, but th that doesn't matter right now. Like I just stay now, maybe for the future. But hey, uh, welcome back, welcome back. How was school though? Oops, hope everything went well. 
As the crowd erupts in cheers, the pilgrimage draws as the close. Oh, see, yeah, we're doing the Arkham Quest, by the way. Act one. On. There you are. Yeah, what's up? I wanted to thank you for supporting Kachina back there. She really has grown into a formidable competitor. She deserved that win. Mm. Not that it feels good to lose, but I'm happy for her. <laughs> oh, it's definitely bittersweet, though. <laughs> okay, fair. Hey, want to go for a walk? Kachina and the others will be busy fighting the Abyss, so why don't I show you around Natland for a while? Oh, no, I read what you said. You said the speculation that the real Archon of, uh, of Fire disappeared before the, the Archon War. I, I did see that part. I was just like, which could be true. I heard some speculation about something similar, if she's real or not. I just, like, I don't know yet. Like, because it could be true. It also couldn't be. They did confirm. Kind, I mean, they didn't confirm. They said it that apparently, apparently the Pyro Archon in this nation, they're like, um, you know, supposedly like they're all humans. They be, they become Archon to this whole competition, apparently. So, like, is interesting but also like what like how like they just casually ascend to celestia and become the archon and that is it which also you know coming the fact you know we cannot get the pyro the 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 pyro element yet um and whatever christ is happening here which we don't know yet but so clearly something's happening here so it could be that like maybe the real pyro archon disappeared and they're doing this system now because we don't know what the real one is with whatever the nose is as well. Or it could be something completely different. We don't know yet because, you know, we need more information. Or just comp or just literally continue doing the story quest. Sure. What do you say, Traveler? Oh, I'm cooking? What is it? All right. Why does the Traveler not resonate with fire? I mean, I mean, we don't know. Like, we it could be as simple as that, but it, it's just weird. Like, because even if she's gone, unless like the, somebody had with the noses, I don't see why it would be a problem. Because, you know, um, like, you know, the Hida was locked, uh, the, whole, the whole thing with Farina and all that. And like, even though the Archon was missing or, you know, unable to do their duties, we still work. The, the connection with the Statue of the Seven still worked. So why only now is this happening? Like, the connection getting, like, cut for some reason. I think because she's missing. I mean, I, I feel like it could be, but there must be something more than that. Like, it just she's missing because, you know, like, the, like in, in the other case, the Archon, you know, like, we're going to have like, died. And then, well, she died, quote, unquote. And then all the stuff with Aida happened, but the connection is still there. Maybe because she was Archon, but like, it still feels weird. Like, just she's, if she's just missing, why did they actually just lost like that? And Farina is not the Archon, so wait, what if I'm right? Is not and Farina is not the Archon, and so is the that. I mean, we already know what the whole deal with that is. Like, uh, unless you haven't played the story yet at the part, we already know what the deal with that is. So I won't. If you don't know, I don't want to spoil anything. I already know the deal. Like, we already know why it was happening. But I'm still wondering, like, in, in this situation, we still got the Pyro Hydro. But in that case, it has to make sense. But, like, why not in this one? Like, it just, it just feels weird to me. Like, why wouldn't it happen? It, didn't hap it happened before. Why is it happening here? So I feel like there's definitely something unique happening that's cutting our connection, like, for real. Uh, something on your mind? Mm, I'm a little worried about it, honestly. Listen, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried. But she's got experience. <laughs> oh, you did the story, but you forgot about it. Oh, okay. Sure be fine. Glory always comes with a risk. If victory was assured, no one would take pride in it. Oh, okay, thank boy. Uh, thank you, uh, the boys. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, for some uh, YouTube doesn't bot doesn't work properly, so it never tells me when people subs or not. But thanks, I appreciate it. She's not one to fall so easily. She bears the ancient name Uthabiti, after all. We just need to hold a fort while they're gone. Come to think of it, you've never visited my tribe, have you? Come on, I'll take you. Okay. The people of the springs live alongside the Kaholasaurus. Our tribe is an ideal spot for some R&R. &R. 
I'll take you to all the best spots. You'll love it. Mm, okay. Looks like you beat me to it. Also, what happened to Kinich? Why is he not there? I don't get it. You got super chat, by the way? Um, I don't think I have because the channel, it, we didn't get a... I need like a certain amount of subs and views to get it. So, yeah, there's no... I, I just... I'm not able to get those, unfortunately. Not on YouTube, anyway. Because, like, I need, like, 500 subs and, like, a certain amount of views to be able to, like, get Super Chats, members, and all that. A <laughs> new daddy, oh boy. Kinich? I was planning on inviting you to visit the Scions of the Canopy. Ooh. Most of the adventures that belong to the guild come from my tribe, so I figured you might be interested. Ooh, I am actually as well. Hey, first come, first served. You snooze, you lose, Kanich. Damn, not just saying, well, Rebozo, I got here first. Yeah, yeah, you were first. Still, Traveler, Paimon, feel free to stop by if you ever I'm getting a bit of a crush. You're always welcome. Kim Michael? Kim Kimich Michael? Uh, it's, um... Bro, out the car. I was like wondering, wait, why are we Kimish Michael? I was like, what? That is a wild one. Well, all the correct, by the way. Like, holy crap, what is that? Oh, I think if yeah, it will be there. Yeah, thanks for inviting us. Yeah. All right, let's pack up and head out. Oh, and is the Arkham Quest going to end now? It's going to continue. Oh, yeah, don't answer me that. If you have done the Arkham Quest already, don't, don't answer me. I don't want to know. Okay, I guess we ended the whole mode, you know, to, that we were doing, which is nice. <laughs> oh, we got to that, and that's our reputation. Nice. Oh, yeah, okay. So, the Argon Quest still continues. Okay, right. But like I said, we're doing the whole Act 1. We're going to, like, um... Yeah, let's go talk to Catherine first, chat. Let me, no, you know what? Let's talk to Kinish first. Then we'll go to, uh... What are your plans, Kinish? Uh... Yeah, and when I'm pity, uh, I'm still can get the new 5-star. Oof, sorry to hear that. I did my pulls for Mualani, and this pull session was pretty mad to bad. Because I lost 50-50 on her and the weapon banner. Like, still got her eventually, but... Ugh. I got D Luke of all characters. I wish it was at least Tainari or something. Or someone else. But I got D Luke. And I don't mind getting Freedom Sworn on this on the weapon banner. But yeah, I, the D Luke one kinda like like put like a bad taste in my mouth, honestly. Oh, I got the weapons. Oh, okay, okay. That's nice. Oh wait. Well, we got the weapon, but didn't get the character though? I've gotta deliver some ceremonial artifacts back to my tribe. I didn't place too well in this pilgrimage, so now that it's over, it's time to get home and get back to work. Okay. You didn't get enough points? Yeah, I got injured during the team round and wound up losing two key matches during individual oh, competition. Oh, okay. Both against opponents I'd faced many times in the past. We've each had our fair share of wins and losses. It happens. Ooh, top 1% in Aria, okay. Locking me away earlier. <laughs> Get used to the taste of karma. Uh, may those injuries be the first it. of many. This guy. This guy, Chet. <sighs> hey! What are you doing? Oh, well. Anyway. Uh, let me go and talk to uh, Catherine first. They're going to continue their conquest. Yeah, they still got Molo, you know. I haven't heard that out. I see you need to level her up. Maybe look right now as a 300 crit damage and 68 crit rate. So probably I'll sub 1%. Mm, okay. All right. I, I have a, okay, welcome to the Magic Scale. So about the commissions here. Please wait a moment. Once you register, you'll be able to accept commissions here. Now there's a land for a challenge and opportunity. Filled with powerful foes and unexplored ruins. Behold that you're confident and you'll be able to seize the opportunity uh, and the uh, accomplishments great things. Nice. At, a, at, at Astra Abyssosk. Adventure, forge uh, forward and reach the stars to conquer the abyss. Okay. 
Casually corner the abyss. I see, I see. Uh, is there potation available here now or maybe later? Yeah, I don't see here, but you did say it was available though. So, Av why is this quest on red? Um, uh, okay. Why don't they just add skip button to happy? <laughs> Oh dear. Maybe someday. Yeah, there's this red quest here. Okay. I don't know what they mean yet, but I'll see later. Maybe someday they'll add to all Hoyoverse games. Only ZZ has it so far. So yeah. Not that I mind. I usually don't skip anything. But I do think it should be there at least for everyone, you know. <laughs> Like, actually, it did happen earlier. One of my friends entered my world doing a cutscene by accident because I let it open. And then um, <laughs> I kind of had to repeat the cutscene. So there I was skipping everything, just pressing. But, you know, not actually skipping. So it took a little bit. Not too long. But it would be good if it was added, at least. Okay, uh, let's not go directly to the waypoint. Yeah, let's go through here. Uh, what time is? Where? Oh, it is around 7 a.m. right now. So yeah, I've been here like streaming for a while, to say the least. Okay, let's go through there. Hello. Huge crazy time difference. Oh, uh, how is it for you, by the way? If you don't mind me asking, is it too late there or is it too early? Also, yeah, I don't need to answer if you don't want to. Hey, let's go, child. Look at that. I'll go here, by the way. Marking here. Oh, it's 7 p.m. for you. Wow, it's literally, it's literally the opposite time. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, I see. I mean, that is the internet for you. Time zones is a lot of people here, like in on the shadow, like uh, so much different time zones here and there, like from and people are all over the place. Hey, there you go. Ah, oh, we're finally here. So this is your home, Mualani. Paimon can't wait to have a look around. Ooh, look at that. Yo, yo, those are ma Holy moly, Chad. Those are massive. Do you see the size of those things? Holy crap, but like surfboards? Uh, see, what did I tell you? <sighs> a dip in the hot springs after a battle is just the best. Got a lot of capybaras, though. Big Genji capybaras. They're really cute. Fetch me a bottle of wine, would you, dear? Hey, yo. Okay. Just casually. Oh, yeah. Give me some wine, please. Just one? Let's get another. It's still early in the day, isn't it? <laughs> Damn, imagine. Hey, can I drink some alcohol? It's still, it's still early, so, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, go for it. Why not? <laughs> Want to go to Golden Dusk later? <laughs> now, this is a vacation. Absolutely amazing. What is my favorite Hyper Bloom team? That was really specific. Um, I mean, usually what I do with Hyper Bloom, usually I go over something, uh, uh something like um, Ayato, um, Ayato Nahida, Kuki, and usually this last slot is it can be Shing Show, but I can switch for someone else, maybe, maybe an Ahida, not Ahida, maybe Farina or something. But usually, like Ayato, another Hydro character. Then Nahida and then Kukushinobu for the for the electro. But yeah, I just think that like I know there's other options, but like I don't have other characters to like make a well usually I go for that, but I don't I could use other characters to do hyper boom or not. But that's usually what I go for in my case. Wow, it's so lively around here. Is there some kind of holiday going on? Oh yeah, by the way, what is your favor, by the way, since you asked asked me that? Oh so yeah, I don't think there's a holiday here, Paimon, by the way. I think he's people are just like 
happy all the time, I guess. We try to treat every day like a holiday around here. We believe every day is worth celebrating. Every day is Sunday, Chad. Every day is Sunday. I feel that's what they're trying to say here. Now, let me show you around. Hmm, where to start? I can't. Uh, I don't have child nor castle. <laughs> Unfor unfortunately, so yeah. Show cheek we cattle records. Columchi Plaza. Oh, it is your oh, favorite. So many I mean, I could tell you that, you know, um. I recommend starting with the real highlight around here. Yeah, writing for the, the lecture, like, you know, writing L EM writing. Uh, Nahida, child, and then as child as a driver, and then Kazza for the shred, animal shred, and all that. OP team, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I appreciate it. Is. I'll, yeah, well, like, you know, the whole setup and all that. But Shadow could be like, I'm pretty sure Shadow could be someone else, honestly. Besides him, like another Hydra user for sure. But yeah, with that setup, it works for real, especially with Kazuha doing the AoE and all that. Also, can I read the dialogue again? Let me see. Show cheek we cattle records. Show. Columbus. Sh Show cheek we cattle records. Show cheek we cattle records. Columbus Holy moly. Plaza. That is the name. There's so many options, but. I recommend starting with the real highlight around here. Yeah. What's that? The hot springs, of course. Natural hot springs have tons of health benefits. Go for a nice long soak and you're guaranteed a good night's sleep. Okay, Chad, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be that guy, but but I think I'm going to be that guy for a moment there. In in Wuwa. <laughs> okay. I, oh, they're like a place with hot springs, kind of, which heals our health. Do we get our health healed here or not? It doesn't mind if, if it happens or not. I'm just curious though. Wait, you want us to bathe here? But you don't understand how hot spring works, okay? Oh, don't be shy. Come on, I'll take you to get changed. Hey, yo, really? Different outfit? Is it really happening? I don't think so, but it would be awesome. Mulani. Oh, who is this? Huh? Oh, Auntie Atea. Oh, look at that. You see Shia with Ayato and switch Kaza with Venti. Venti Oat, Hyper Bloom, and so Pete. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I could. I don't have Venti, though. <laughs> I don't have Nark, Venti, or Kaza. It is what it is. Please, I've told you that just Atea is fine. Do I look that old to you? You look generic, though. You don't look old. You do look generic, though. <sighs> Were you taking these two to the hot springs? That's right. Oh, let me introduce you. This is the traveler, and the small one next to him is Paimon. They only just arrived in Natlan, so I'm taking them around to experience our customs. Hi there! Hello. Yeah, and... Yeah, hello. Uh, I'm Muolani's neighbor, <laughs> six across. By the way, Muolani... I heard you lost a Kachina during the pilgrimage. I'll say, don't worry. Is I do have true? sucrose, by the way. <laughs> what? Yeah, I was this close to winning. Oh, definitely not the result I wanted, but still not too surprising. Kachina's always been strong. <laughs> anyway, it's all in the past. I'm going to take these two for a dip in the hot springs. Talk to you later. Mm, okay. Oh, wait. You'll need swimsuits first. Hmm, I'm sure I can find you something like okay. in the shop. I'll Chad, go look. I've been hurt by Hoyoverse forever. I don't believe I get a different outfit. If I actually, I, I'm going to like actually be surprised if I get a different outfit because I don't believe in Hoyoverse anymore. I want, I, I've been wanting Eater to get a different outfit ever since you know Zuma. They never listen. This this outfit is so special for me. It, it's really affectionate. I cannot get it. Shut, shut up. Give me a different outfit, dang it. So I don't think so. So, I don't believe you. Not because I don't trust you. I don't trust how you have this one, honestly. I just see... Hold I, it right there, young lady. Dang it. Have you forgotten the rule about bathing in the hot springs? That would be too bad, like, not a radar. That's okay, it's okay. I think so, I appreciate it. Rule? Oh, wait, you mean... Wait, there's a... What? Wait, huh? Wait, there's a rule? Wait, wait. Okay. It makes sense, but like, what, what rule? There's a rule about bathing in the hot springs? I mean, it's not... We, uh, there's like, wait, there's a rule, wait, no, no. That makes sense. It, it, there should be some rules. What is the rule, though? That's right. 
Outlanders have to complete a trial at an artificial hot spring before they're allowed access to the natural ones. Um, do I have to fight something? It's not nearly as scary as it sounds. Basically, natural hot springs have higher temperatures that not everyone can withstand. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, Chad, for a moment, I thought they were actually say, nah, for you to use the good hot springs, you need to fight to prove you're strong. Because if not, you are weak, you don't deserve it. <laughs> I thought they actually were going to say that. But no, apparently I, I just need to see if you can handle like the high temperature. Okay. A few travelers have gotten scalded by the water in the past. So now we have an unwritten rule. All outlanders need to adapt to the lower temperature artificial springs first. Oh, okay, sure. But seriously, Auntie Atea, do we have to be so strict? These two are formidable adventurers. I know they can handle it. Yeah, don't worry. I got this. <laughs> Famous last words. The hot springs are not to be underestimated. You can never be too careful. Besides, the environment's been Proceed. unstable lately. Proceed. Traveler can take some temperature. I, I can, surely. Wait, 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 sorry, I missed the last part. So the environment uh, being unstable lately could be the sign that the abyss is, is about to attack. Oh, dear. Oh, that sounds dangerous. You know, Paimon's really not all that formidable, so careful is good. Exactly. There will be no excessive risk taking on my watch. Mualani, take them to the artificial spring first. Dang it. R rip rip my, my rip my summer outfit, I guess, Chad. Okay, okay. Or is it? That's more like it. And don't try anything funny. I'm heading to the artificial spring a bit. <laughs> bro, can, bro fought a god can take so hot so place, some hotness. I mean we did. We also fell from the sky, didn't use the glider, and we passed out. And I mean, we, we got like, we were resting in Needle's lap during the whole event. But that kind of happened. Like, we passed out from a fall, which is a little, you know, embarrassing, I guess. But, but you know, I mean, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Relax, relax. Oh, by the way, Atea. How have you been feeling lately? Holy moly, I just noticed that. Is, look at that scar. That says a big scar, by the way. Much better. How else would I have the energy to keep an eye on all you rascals? <laughs> hey, you over there. How many times have I told you no roughhousing near the hot springs? Oh, shoot. That weird lady's back again. Cheap viewers. Look at the frick out of here. What do you mean cheap viewers on my chat? Get out of here. Also, yeah, by the way, the boys, uh, like I said, I am double streaming, but Twitch hates, you know, two chats at the same time. So, unfortunately, there no chats can be, like, no two chats at the same time. So, only Twitch chat is on screen, not YouTube. So, yeah, it is what it is. Wait, confidence or, or not? Fire Nation coming out in, in summer. Oh, oh. You said that, I was like, wait, oh, I mean, it kind of is. It's not summer for me, though. <laughs> I really don't care. I don't know, I'm just explaining. Because sometimes people ask me, wait, who are you talking to? And usually I'm talking to our one chat or the other. That's why I'm just saying that. Like, Because sometimes people ask me, wait, why I cannot see chat on screen? So I just explain because of that. Oh, I meant confidence. Okay, okay. Oh, conscience. Co coincidence. Okay, okay. Oh, but yeah. Uh, co oh, coincidence. I don't know why I say I said that word wrong. <laughs> coincidence. But yeah, I I'm going to say, it, though, it, it is winter here. <laughs> it is kind of cold. Not going to lie. Not too cold. It is still cold, though. So, yeah. Also, let me just put. Where is it? Let me just put tears in chat. Why not? There's no reason for it. Might as well do it. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, lucky. Yeah, it's, it's winter here where we are. It's nothing too cold, but the place where I am usually is kind of like hot. So the drastic change sometimes because like sometimes like it is hot one day and like one day for another it gets cold. And then like I started getting like a little sick. So that kind of sucks. But besides that, I don't mind too much. Anyway, let me go back to the to the game here. Uh, run! There you go. Uh, stop 
right there. Ugh, you need a stern talking to. <laughs> oh dear. And there she goes. She sure has a lot of energy. Is she an old friend of yours? You seem really close. <laughs> She's a legend in our tribe. Everyone knows her. Ooh. Back before I inherited my ancient name, she was one of Natland's most renowned warriors, famous for her love of hot springs. In fact, she often threw parties at the hot springs. Okay, also let me just adjust your chat, old boy. Okay, let's continue here. She referred to anyone who came to these parties as her hot spring buddies. <laughs> hot the spring buddies. These were all respected warriors like Liliuo, Kayulani, Vichama, oh, and the Archon. Ooh, damn, okay. 100 and 100, 106 degrees where am I? Oh my god. Wait, wait. Sorry, I but well, is it like in Fahrenheit? Because usually I hear it in Celsius. Because if it is in Celsius, you're literally like inside the oven. <laughs> you're literally getting cooked. Actually cooked. If Paimon lived here, she would take advantage of the hot springs too. It's just during battle, she was impaled in the abdomen by an abyssal monster. Yikes. Yikes, man. Ugh. The doctors managed to save her life, but they made it clear that she could never bathe in the hot springs again. Ah. That, that is... That is some irony and pretty sad, honestly. Abyssal power still exists within her body. Immersing herself in hot water would accelerate the corrosion of her internal organs and the progression of her illness. Wow. That, that is... Well, oh, damn, that sucks. Oh, no wonder she has so many scars. Paimon had no idea she was so seriously injured. That's normal. This she never talks about her injury. Mm. She's worked tirelessly over the years to dig up artificial springs so that more and more people can experience our tribe's natural wonders, even though she can't enjoy them herself. I really respect her for that. Oh, see, I just checked. I, I, I need to do the conversion to see how much is in Celsius. And holy moly, yeah, you are kind of cooking there. Holy crap, that is a, that is really hot. <laughs> holy crap. Anyway, let's head to the artificial springs. If Auntie Atea gets there before us, we're going to be in some real hot water. Haha, <laughs> hot water. Funny, funny. Okay. Um... Head to the artificial hot springs. Oh, okay, okay. I'll just go there. Oh, look at that. I don't think we can go there yet, right? It is. Yeah, we cannot go there yet. Okay. Oh, I see. That's a great idea. I like it. Amina. See, I told you the chief would agree. What, the chief? Well, let's get moving then. We can't let a word of this slip to anyone else. Like us? Hey, Amina, Hikaru, Mao. Oh, Amina. You three seem particularly cheerful today. What's the occasion? Yeah, tell us. Oh, Mulani, <laughs> you're back. Um, who are these two? This is the Traveler and Paimon, two very important guests. I wanted to take them to the natural hot springs, but Auntie Atea caught us, so we had to come here first. Mm. Oh, what a coincidence! We were just talking about her! Ooh. We think Auntie Atea's illness has taken a turn for the better. Um... You mean like she's getting better? Really? How can you tell? Okay, so while you've been busy with the pilgrimage, we noticed that she's been visiting the hot springs alone at night. Oh. Huh. Yeah, specifically the hot springs in the cave to the north of our settlement. I'm sure you know the one. Apparently, she used to go there a lot before they became abandoned for some reason. Uh, is that a good thing though? Also, I don't get why you're like putting colors in chat. Yeah, she could never come into contact with hot water before, and now she's visiting the hot springs every night. I mean, it's pretty obvious what that means, right? Um, I don't think so. It could be something bad happening. Yeah, so we got to thinking, what if we renovated the abandoned spring behind her back, then threw her a huge surprise party? Chief Amina thinks it's a great idea, too. So, you want in? Oh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that was really vague, okay? That was really vague. I was like, 
what? And I'm like, oh, okay. I, I think I know what he's already doing. How did you even think of pulling this off without me? Trying to do me, Spencer, in my chat. I'm a little busy right now, though. I'll come find you once we're done at the hot springs. <laughs> of course. Take your time. You should focus on our guests for now. Also, say I do like that hoodie she's wearing, by the way. These artificial springs are pretty new, but the experience is just as good as the natural ones, if you ask me. We really worked hard on them, so I hope you enjoy. Oh, thanks, little one. And you two, I know you want to focus on Atea's surprise, but don't forget your patrol duties in the meantime. The abyss could attack at any moment. Wait, so wait, we need uh, to stay wait. Wait, I, 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 I said said it as kind of as a joke, but is she really chief? Why is she the chief? Why the child the chief? I don't get it. Uh, it, it she like beat up the old the. Uh, the other chief and became the chief or something? Like what? You got a chief. We'll keep an eye out. Huh? You can count on us. Yo, Chad, that looks wild. All right, we're off then. See you at the abandoned spring, Mulani. I'm also gonna head out. Have fun. Hey! Oh, quick congrats, congrats. Yo, 1.5 billion. That's pretty good. Finally, it's hot spring time. Oh, I already arranged swimwear for you guys, by the way. <gasps> Come on, I'll show you to the chief. Okay, I, I, I just, I just. Is it really? I don't believe you. I only believe if I actually see it. And if I see it, oh my god, I, I, I I'm like, ain't no way they're going to do that, right? Right? There is no way we're actually going to change the outfits, right? Let's see. Change outfit. Wait, why does it fit surprisingly well? <sighs> Dang it! I hate it here, chat. No! I, I, I... I hate it here. I... <sighs> of course. Of course, I would... No, wait, no, don't get me wrong. I'm happy. I think Ether with the ponytail looks really cool. But... Out there. I like... Oh, uh, you know, it's not going to be a, a freaking outfit, is it? It's going to be just a 2D art. Oh, see, I think Paimon is also... She has, like... I think she's also using some kind of ponytail as well from the looks of it. I like the art though. Um, I don't. I don't really enjoy it. Also, yeah, well, since we are here, let me take the screenshot. By the way, we need this screen, a screenshot of this. We need to take a screenshot, chat, because why not? So let me do it real quick. Wait, wait. I do wonder what how the Lumine art is. By the way, like how is it compared to Eater? I might look. You know, I won't look it up. I'm only going to look it up after I do the whole quest. If I look it up, if only I've done Act 1, I'm going to get spoiled or something. So might as well look it up later for my own safety. Okay. AO screenshot. Yeah. Just take one screenshot here. Just just because why not? I usually take ones if like there's some really cool scene here. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so, what do you think? Can you feel the warmth relax every muscle in your body? Damn, I, I'm still salty though. I like they kinda did it, but we is it is still not. No, I was. Dang it, I'm really. I will. Uh, this is really nice. Am I like? I really like it, but also like, dang it, I wish it was actually a model. Yeah, it's so nice. The steam is warm too. But <laughs> I mean, looking at it's kind of suspicious. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the first time I came to the hot springs, there was no calming effect whatsoever. I was such a little ball of energy. The moment my parents looked away, I ran off to the high temperature pools. <laughs> oh my God, it's a girl. It was actually pretty funny looking back on it. Hey, yo, wait, get another shot? Wait, 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 wait. Looking for me all over until finally they saw my head slowly poke out from under the water. Also, God dang it, Chad, really? Uh I think I actually really like either with the ponytail. It looks really nice. Especially like, you know, because we always see him with only with the... Is there like that? But god dang it. I don't think whoever's ever give us alpha for either. 
And I hate it here. I hate it here. I wish he actually gets something like that, but we're, we're not. Anyway, let me take another screenshot, though. I need to take another one because, of course, we're getting rare footage of Eater ha having a different outfit, by the way. So I need to do it. Let me just wait, wait. I don't know why. Like, ever since, like, I, I updated a while back, it makes, like, big screenshots so inconvenient. It takes so, so, so long for some reason, but oh, well. Anyway. That's good, you know. I was too young to remember the whole ordeal, but my parents told me all about it. A natural born swimmer, my mother called me. Just like her, I taught myself how to dive underwater the first time I ever went swimming. Ooh. So feel free to go for a swim. I'll be right here if you need rescuing. Hey, yo. Okay, here goes nothing. When next stream? Tomorrow. Or later today, actually. I'll be streaming at my usual time because like the stream is usually I don't stream this time because well I think we are going to yeah it's gonna be literally the opposite I probably stream at the the morning for you since you know we're literally the exact opposite like 12 hours apart so I usually start around like 8 a.m for you most likely and then I go into um like 12 basically Usually, that that's my usual time. He just went overboard this time because it was uh the update the 5.0 and all that, so I stream more than usual. <clears throat> Auntie Atea. Oh my God, we keep getting this. Oh, I was I was wondering what is Paimon using. I was like, what is Paimon outfit? Like I couldn't see it because of the whole the whole thingy, but. Like, Oh, the machine. Oh, thank you, the boy. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let me go and um take another screenshot because I was wondering what Palmo's very looks so cute that I like our short as well. I'm still freaking. St it's such a weird, comp a weird feeling because I'm really happy we're getting this, but I also like why could we get an outfit of this? Why? Why? Okay. Anyway, let, let me stop complaining. Let me just and just take the screenshot already. Oh, oh, I gotta go. Okay, the boys. Okay, okay. He was stopping by then. Yeah, a lot chat. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, chat is a little bit like quiet now because, like I said, it's a, it's a weird time for me to stream. So most people went to sleep, went to do their thing and all that. So it's a little bit quiet now. But thanks, uh, the boys. Thank you, thank you. Why, why am I walking on this such? <laughs> Hi, Rob. Hello, hello. I'm going to do the stream. I mean, we're seeing rare footage of Ether with a different outfit and Paimon, and which is here like big chilling with uh, Moalani on the hot springs. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I am like, you know, seeing like, ah, why we couldn't get this outfit for Ether, and I'll still complain, but I do enjoy the scene. Wait, well, don't worry about it, Rob. Don't worry. How are you doing, though? Hope we're doing well. Okay, bye, the boys. Bye bye. Thanks for stopping by. Have a, have a good night for you. I almost say day, but like, oh no, it is nice for you, man. Have a good night. Wait, how are you doing, Rob, by the way? How are you doing? Hope you're doing well today. Wait, let me... Wait, I say... No, where, where is it? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Right. I'm pretty sure we saved the screenshot. Let me confirm. I, I, I'm just being paranoid. Let me confirm if we got it. Are you surprised it took four years to get this hot spring episodes in Genshin? Yeah, it just only took four years. It didn't happen in, in Fontaine. It happened in Nathan of all places. I mean, it's not too bad, honestly. Okay, that was actually a shot of, of Chaska. And I was like, whoa. Is this shot is straight up just like... It, it was like a shot that was on top. And we, we straight up saw her cleavage from the shot. I was like, wait. I was confused because like, wait, are you doing this? Like, you straight up was stopping. You just stopped there and that shot. Like, are you doing this, Genshin? Are you straight up just doing this? Just showing us that? Like, okay, sure. Because usually they don't show it. So it got it caught me a little bit by surprise when it was like, you were just there. You were straight up just there. And like, I, if I stop, it would be there forever. <laughs> but I would say this one necessarily is not too bad. 
but it could be because I play Nikkei, so like this is pretty tame by comparison for my standards. But that is a story for another day, though. Of course, and I'm glad you listened. I brought you all some milk and snacks as well. I'll just leave them here. Okay. <sighs> the temperature in the artificial springs isn't too high, so I went with Soros crackers and grain fruit chips. See how you like them. Also, and apparently this is our third art by the way, which is pretty nice. Oh, thank you! Can we get a fourth one, please? Please? Um, mm, these are great! Well, I did. We're getting another myself. one! Oh my god, Chad. Okay, let me. I'll keep stopping here taking screenshots because holy moly. Let me. There you go. Yeah, okay. There you go. Okay. <sighs> Very few young people know how to truly appreciate hot springs, so listen carefully. The temperature of the hot spring not only determines the type of snacks you should choose, but also the amount of time you should spend in the water. Okay. To bathe in a hot spring is to completely empty your mind. As such, swimming around the pool is incredibly disruptive and impolite, and something you should absolutely not learn from Mualani. Oh, she knows. She knows, Chad. She, she unfortunately knows. Hey! <sighs> All right. Looks like you were able to adapt to the temperature, no problem. You should be able to switch to the natural springs then. Okay. Well, I've got to get going. Oh, and make sure you drink your milk. I'm looking at you, Mualani. I still remember how you used to pour it into the water when you were little. Oof. That better not happen again, whether I'm here to catch you or not. Ugh, okay, okay. My mom didn't think you were the type to do something like that. <laughs> I remember thinking I'd totally get away with it too. But turns out milk is pretty easy to spot when you pour it into clear water. I mean... Hmm, not my best work. Oh, <laughs> well. You drink the milk and enjoy. Some people get dizzy if they stay in here too long. You guys all right? No, this is not here anymore, so I'm good. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, um, yeah, I love those scenes. I love the, the whole the whole thing that happened. I'm still salty. We, I, I want a different outfit for Eater. Dang it. Give us a different outfit for Traveler. Please. Come on. Come on, seriously. Just give us a different outfit. It's not too like come on. Paimon's fine, just a bit stuffed. Yeah. I feel fine too. Looks like you two are naturals. Oh, by the way, I have to leave you on your own for a little while this afternoon. I'm gonna help the others fix up that abandoned spring. Oh, oh yeah, they did talk about it. Don't worry about it. I certainly don't trust their aesthetic tastes. Oof. Who knows what will become of the place if I leave them unattended? Hmm. In exchange, though, I can recommend a couple of shops that are worth a visit. Um, I really helped you. Huh? But yeah, has really been kind to us. Yeah, yeah, she brought us snacks and taught us about the hot springs. We want to do our part, too. Yeah, we can help. Friends are supposed to help each other out. We'd feel bad otherwise. I got Tainari. Uh, I, I had all the characters already, but I want to see one Tainari because I never got a copy of him. Besides the one, the ones that I got him during the uh, Sumeru. So I got T1 Tenari. Well then, the more the merrier. I'll say I got Mualani as well. In her weapon, but uh, it was rough. Lost to Diluc and got Freedom Sworn. I don't mind Freedom Sworn. Diluc kind of sucked up getting him. All right, we should get going. Let's organize the best hot spring gathering Natland's ever seen. Hey, there you go. Yeah, there she is, by the way. Yeah. I'm not using the weapon still, though. Because um, I can only farm it on... Um, on um, on Thursday. So, oops. Oh, well. But I have it here. But I'm using um, this one for now.
But yeah, not my best moment, I would say, but it is what it is. I honestly just wish, like, if I got Tainari or someone else, I wouldn't be so salty about it. The fact that I got Diluc, I have C4 Diluc, by the way. It, that one was like, ugh, like, really? Yeah. I wish they changed that, honestly. It's the one thing they, they should just change it about it. I was like praying, can I please farm for her day one? If I could, I would put her to level 90 on the spot. Like, I, she would already be level 90, like fully maxed, but I literally can't. Anyway, then I can in theory just go and farm, like, like because I'm I'm gonna stuck because I need to like get more of these. If the only way to get it is like going up there. Uh, where is it again? Um, I cannot see it from here. But yeah, basically there are more like loot around here. But like, uh, around here. But like, it's up. It's really high up and I know how to get there yet. So I cannot get more. And like, I, I don't want to ask my friends like to steal their stuff yet. So I'm a little stuck for a few days. Or I just steal some of them, all my friends later. But oh well. Mulani! Wait, you brought our guests too? Yeah, we're going to help. But you're important guests. We can't put you to work. Yeah, I want to do our part. All right, all right. Stop trying to out-polite each other, would you? The sooner we get this party started, the sooner we get to enjoy the real party. Also, I'll say, because of this, of this happening, I think I might just get Kanish, but not his weapon this time. Maybe. Because I do want the other character in the 5.1 a little bit more. So I might just get him. Only him with, without the weapon. But that could change, we'll see. Maybe, maybe like, I could still go for it, but eh, I'm probably just going for him this time. Or just save it completely and just go for the next character. But eh, we, 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 just, we shall wait and see. Things could change. Now, where to start? Hmm, looks like the water outlet is blocked pretty bad. We'll need to dig under it. Ooh, those boxes in the corner need to be thrown out as well. Oh, they're moldy as all get out. Ugh. Also, someone needs to go out and get some cloth, wood, and decorations. Oh, and snacks, too. I say we get enough for 20 or 30 people. Holy moly. Bulk purchases fetch the best prices after all. Oh, but don't just accept the first offer they give you. Uh, uh, I'm not good at haggling. Why don't you go? Oh? Hey, I'm not any better, and I wouldn't even know what to buy. Um, how about we handle things here while you three deal with the shopping? Hmm. Oh, you as well, Rob. I think uh, someone someone else actually um, said something similar as well. That it might not bow at all during the whole of Nathlin and all that. Yeah, that works too. I can introduce you to all the shops while we're at it. All right, let's meet back here later. Okay. Um, go to the market street and buy the necessary goods. Okay. To digging then? Let's go. I'll say it is fun to be able to like go everywhere like with Walani and just surf and all that. It is really fun. I did notice though, like you use more of that bar on the on down there. More like on land than in the water is way slower. But on land it go way faster. There's a difference in that. There's one thing hey, that I noticed by using her. Hope business has been going well. I didn't use Kachina too much yet, so I don't know, like, there's some kind of difference. But that's the only thing, like, I noticed traversal wise. Besides that, it's really good. Especially on water on all places, but. Well, if it isn't Moolani, back from the pilgrimage? That's right. Didn't make the cut this year, though. Well, it wouldn't be a competition if everyone got to win. So, what'll it be today? Here, it's all on the list. Quite a sizable order, as you can see. So, uh, can we expect a discount? Of course. Wow, that is a large order. What's it all for? A party? That's right. Uh, keep this between us for now, but... We're throwing a hot spring party for Auntie Atea. Ooh. 
Wait, you're saying she can go in the hot springs again? That's great news! How about this? You can have the decorations on the house, and I'll give you 20% off the cloth and wood. Come on, I know you can sweeten the deal. That pile of wood's been sitting there since I left for the pilgrimage. At this rate, you need to get rid of it or it's gonna go moldy. Hmm. All right, all right. Such a handful. Just give me a moment while I pack all this up for you. Wow, that was amazing, Mulani! <laughs> all in a day's work. By the way, Yellowfath, are these two stones for sale? Interested? They won't come cheap. Oh? I'm not planning to haggle this time, I promise. Package them separately, would you? Uh, are those also decorations? Nope. Kachina likes shiny little trinkets, so oh. whenever I come across something like that, I always buy it for her. Oh, that's really nice. I'll hold on to them for now. It'll be a nice little surprise for her when she returns victorious from battle. I'm sure she'll like it. I hope she does, though. Like, <laughs> I hope she doesn't, like, die or anything like that. Holy moly. All right, that should be everything. If you could just double check, make sure nothing's missing. Okay. Let me see. Huh? What's this crate of juice doing here? Oh, is it uh, a welcome gift or something? That's on the house. On the house. Hey, there you go. Seven years ago, when the Abyss attacked our tribe, Atea saved my brother's life. She never asked for anything in return, but I could never forget what she did for my family <laughs> that, that funny, day. Though. So, send her my regards, would you? And have fun. Oh, okay, we thanks. will. It's going to be a party to remember. Thanks a lot, Yellowfath. Well, that's our shopping done. Let's head back. Yeah, let's go. I am wondering how long this quest is going to be in general. I'm not, go I'm not doing full act two, only one. So I wonder like when it's going to end. I, I was thinking, oh, it's going to end here, but it's still continuing. So not that I mind. Wow, this place cleaned Just up curious. nice. You got the water unblocked too. <laughs> Good work. I would hope so. We spent all day clearing out debris from the bottom of the spring. Did you guys get everything? Oh, we brought back tons of stuff. We set it down near the cave entrance. Hmm. All right, then. Roll up your sleeves, everyone, and let's get back to work. Okay. Actually, why don't you two take a break? I'll handle it from here. Traveler, mind lending me a hand? Shush. Sure. Shush. Uh, sure. Just say the word. So, I was brainstorming on the way over, and I'm thinking we could draw something on the wall over here, and the snacks and drinks can go over there. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. They just... Okay, how good is it going to be? Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, what do you think? Not bad, right? Yeah. It looks amazing! I might have no idea you were such a great designer! Shush. <laughs> yeah, I said I'm sick. Well, I'm usually the one in charge of the family store, so... <laughs> I'm pretty good at things like renovation and organization. Yeah, close enough, right? Close enough. What happened while I was good? Oh, hello, the boys. Welcome back. I thought actually we're... I thought like, okay. Uh, nothing much. We... I mean, we were like... We entered the hot springs with Mul Mulani. I complained about Ether for a little bit. It was a fun time and all that. Then we just left there and then we decided to help with the party for the other girl. Uh, Melanie's aunt, basically. And that's pretty much it. And we already prepared the place for the party. Not to mention, this was totally a group effort. Still, I didn't expect it to take quite this long. Guess it's too late to invite Auntie Atea over, huh? Yeah, Auntie Atea. Yeah, uh, tonight's definitely not gonna work. Chief Amina set up those patrols to guard against the Abyss, and Atea volunteered. So she's on watch tonight. Yeah, I'm still wondering why is she Ami uh, Amina like a child. I don't get it. Is she just is she just small, or she's actually just a kid that somehow beat the other chief and just became a chief or something? I'm still like wondering why is you know I I don't get it. I see. Well, guess the surprise will have to wait until tomorrow. Oh no! Yeah, definitely shouldn't let your your four year old brother uh, drink coffee. Hmm, this could actually be a good thing. 
she can relieve all the exhaustion of keeping watch all night by soaking in the hot spring. Ha! <laughs> She's gonna love it. I'm still wondering. They talked about her coming here, and it makes you wonder, is she really okay? Maybe she just, like, misinterpreted whatever is happening, which, yeah. Let's just wait and see, though. Well, let's call it a day, then. Traveler, Paimon, you must be tired, too. Come on, I'll take you to the inn. Okay, sure. Mm. Oh, let's go to the inn the rest. I'll tell you, one thing that I wish they added to, like, all characters is, like, this option here. If you switch... Oh, no, now. Uh, let me let me say what my show is. Oh, it basically do this. It immediately switch. And, like, the character is already moving. I wish they had to all the characters. I don't know. Like, instead of, like, every time you switch, like, they start with attack. And they're doing something. It would be cool if they did that. Something like that. And with the new... The all, every single character, but... Oh, well. Especially now the Nathan Catastin just do that. You just switch it and immediately start moving. Subway surfers overboard in animation. Alright, this is it. Get a good night's sleep, okay? Oh say the music at night the night music here looks sounds really nice. I haven't heard it yet. Yeah, good night. Surely nothing bad will happen, right, Chad? Surely. Exhausted. We really went all over the place today, didn't we? I mean, yeah, we kind of did. Anyway, we need to be well rested for the party tomorrow, so let's head inside. Okay. Yeah, surely nothing bad will happen, right, Chad? Surely. Thick Lizzy mode. Oh dear. That went bad fast. Uh, why now? Uh, hi. What's with all the noise? Yeah. Traveler, Paimon, wake up. Mulani? What's going on? Uh, where did all these monsters come from? Holy moly. It's the abyss. Our patrols are trying to drive them back as we speak. Oh come dear. With me. I'll take you somewhere safe. I mean, we can fight them. Uh, Mualani, a little help over here. We can't hold them back much longer. One moment. I'll be right there. Yeah, we'll come to. Really? That's perfect. I've been waiting for the chance to fight by your side. Hey, let's go, Chad. We're here to help. Oh, uh, it's time. Hey, what are you but whatever, you know what? My my wall is not built anyway, so might as well. Have they been contaminated by the abyss? No, they are the abyss. Destroy them. Oh, they are the abyss, hey yo. Thank you. I'm all right. Go help the others. I, I almost died. Tide rises. Shreds, shreds, shreds. Oh. Carving waves. We've cleared out most of the monsters. Oh already. yeah, you didn't know. Yeah, uh, more learning is more gonna. It would have taken me ages on my own. Is Morgana's voice? Yeah, it, it is Morgana. Uh, I forgot her name. I always remember forgetting Morgana's VA's name, but yeah, it is her. Also, can you just stop? I, see, I almost took light into my face. Please stop. Looks like we're still in for a long night, though. We still have no idea where these creatures are coming from. Are they coming from the cave? Let's go ask Amina. She'll have a better handle on the situation. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. 
Oh, I still have a uh, trial uh, Mualani. Okay. Oh, see, I know Mualani is better for vape chat, but like, I don't. Let's ride. I. Uh, well, my Mualani wasn't built, so I decided to do a Hyper Bloom instead. So yeah. Amina. Oh, it's you three. Thank you for helping clear out. Oh, see, this our that's the chief. By the way, I still wondering why is the chief a, a, a kid, but uh, oh well. We were prepared for an attack, but we didn't have enough people to prevent them from breaking through our defenses. No casualties so far, though. Where did they come from this time? The east side. We've pinpointed the position of an abyssal pylon, but hmm. we don't have enough manpower to take it down. An abyssal pylon? What's that? A kind of gate created by the abyss. One that allows monsters from the Night Kingdom to enter the physical world. Ooh. Damn, Natalie has a rough. <laughs> Just casually being invaded by the abyss left and right here and there. The only way to end the attack is to destroy the pylon as soon as possible. Otherwise, the endless hordes of monsters will exhaust our defenses. Exactly. That's what I'm most concerned about. Their numbers suggest there might even be multiple pylons in the area. We're searching for them as we speak. All right, we'll go seal off the one to the east. Traveler, Paimon, can I count on your help again? Yeah, sure, why not? Of course! We can't just sit back and do nothing. On behalf of the people of the Springs, you have my thanks. We're counting on you. Let's go. There's no time to lose. Take care, Amina. Okay, let's go. That's it, all right. Come on, let's get rid. Okay. Do this thing. Need a surfboard? Okay. Our bond is strong. Scatter. Oh, now I can do damage. Okay. Spring forth. Oh, okay. There we go. No, it didn't. Nice. Whew. That should do it, right? I don't see any more monsters, so looks like we're in the clear. Do these attacks happen a lot? It must be hard on your tribe. Yeah, it makes things hard sometimes, but that's how our ancestors have always lived. Hmm. Besides, the Abyss doesn't care how difficult our lives are. Fighting back is the only option. Come on, we should head back. Huh? What are you looking at? Is there something over there? So many monsters. You're right. Mualani, look! They're coming from that direction! Wait, that area looks kind of familiar. The location of the Abandoned Hot Spring. <sighs> what? How unlucky can we get? We just finished the renovations. We probably don't have any reinforcements over there, so it's up to us. Let's move. Okay. Yeah, some of these definitely happen there for sure. Seems like the monsters are decreasing in number. Come on, everyone. Keep it up. Oh. Carving wave. Amazing. Catching at the flame. Woo! Get with me. 
So what is happening here? Oh boy. Atea, what are you doing here? Where's the pylon? <laughs> Where do you think? If I'm here, means that thing is long gone. Um, ma'am, why are you emanating at this energy? I was in a hurry, so it's not my best work. You should check if all the important stuff is still here. Is it? I think she's lying. Uh, maybe she's just like trying to like, like, she she wanted to go back, be able to like at least experience like the. The hot spring again, and using abyssal energy to do it. Stop talking for now. That wound looks bad. The abyssal power is corroding your body. I mean, also could it be that? Could it be dying because of that as well? But I don't know. I feel like there's something with this cave. Besides, she's just coming here and be able to you know, just you no, know, being able to enjoy, uh, you know, th this whole thing again. Is this the right area? Hello? Anyone there? Oh, who is this? Oh, it's those guys. <laughs> Mulani and Atea. What's going on? We were told the second pylon was over here. Yeah, that like she said she she dealt with it, but I feel like there's something going on here. Atea took care of it, but she's injured. Quick, someone get a doctor. Yeah, all right, all right, stop fussing. Don't you think I know my own limits? The main thing is they didn't destroy anything. This is a beautiful hot spring, by the way. I can tell how much work you put into mm. it. Also, check it out. It's good to know. Take a small break. I need to do something. Real quick. Won't take too long, but I need to do it. Wait, no. This was meant to be a surprise. <laughs> For me, right? I know. Damn. I tell ya. <laughs> you think I couldn't tell you were avoiding me on purpose? Not one of you stopped to say hello today. <laughs> it couldn't be more obvious that you were hiding something. <laughs> and you, Mualani, were you the one that brought the snacks? How many times have I told you you have to choose them based on the temperature of the water? <sighs> also, just noticed, yeah, she has a pyrovision. I, I didn't notice earlier, but yeah, she has a pyrovision there. Oh, forget about that. The doctor's almost here, and you're gonna get all better. Then we can have a meal together, and I'll help you make whatever uh, you want, okay? Okay. You just have to hold on. Maybe she's about to die, Chad. Okay. I heard that uh, maybe she's like evil or something. Uh, maybe she's about to die. Well, any said that Tay has been injured by the abyss before. Maybe that's why the corrosion is so fast this time. At this rate, she's not going to make it in time until I have arrives. Maybe there's something I can do. Oh, we're going to do something? Okay. The impurities and the elemental energy we embody repel each other. Hey, look at that. Actually brought in 1.0 back. Look at that. Just remember, we can purify stuff. What? The crystal has been purified? When? The anguish he feels has brought him to tears. Damn. I don't know. <laughs> you can do this to me. You can, like, brought 1.0 back to me. But yeah. Remember, as I said, uh, by the way, for anyone who doesn't know, I played this game since 1.0, like, well, since launch, basically. So it, it really does bring back memories, just seeing all these cutscenes again. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? Uh. <laughs> the game has continuity. <laughs> That's right. Back then, I. Atea! Atea! Uh, let me try something. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, we'll see if it happens, if it happens or not. <sighs> what is this? Some sort of purification? The abyssal power, it's being cleansed away. Hey, there you go. How can that be? I never knew that was even possible. Hey, look at that. Atea! Pretty cool, but I like. Pretty cool. Yeah, you know, I should do that. Just like stand hand and like purify a biz away. And 
The mark of the abyss. It's gone. Yes, thanks to the traveler. By the way, traveler, are you all right? No, I'm good. Don't worry about it. I just saw you purify abyssal power from Atea's body. That didn't injure you in any way, did it? Nah, I'm good. Yeah. You're sure? Of course. <laughs> good. Good. Canonically reason he never <laughs> done it since then. I <laughs> for core. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, sometimes you like, like, you're just doing other stuff, just busy. You really, like, forgot about it, you know. You know, like, find your glasses and, like, oh, it was, I was using my glasses all the time. He's just trying to find them. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we're doing it now. You see that, at least he eventually remember. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I do remember, like, I'm sure I remember, was there a time that we being able to, Cleanse abyssal power where it could save someone. I do remember we did something similar doing like the Nahida story quest, her second one. But before that, I like, was there a moment that something similar happened? I just don't remember. It has been a while. So, like, I might not remember that. I do like that we actually did this at least this time, though. You scared us all half to death just now. The group of young tribes people race over to surround. Okay. They toss into the air over and we're all going to try right, over here. Alright everyone, head back and get some rest. We'll meet here tomorrow. We'll celebrate Atea's recovery and our triumph over the abyss. Hey, there you go. And most importantly, we'll show the Traveler and Paimon how grateful we are for their aid. Let's make it an occasion to remember. Dismissed! Hey, there you go. Got it! Got any other secret powers I should know about? Holy crap, I think you should wait, wait. Oh, but seriously, you really came through for us tonight. So oh, no, no, I, I just never character. I was like, wait, is her injury like straight up gone? No, no, it was a different character. I thought it was the same, the same NPC. With absorbing episode energy, Ether creation is full. <laughs> she got killed every one of those dumb little abyss spaces. Damn, that, that would be kind of dark to imagine. Just suck all their abyssal power and just die. <laughs> they just straight up die. Holy moly. Paimon almost forgot you had that ability. You <laughs> used it back in Mondstadt <laughs> to cleanse the Valen's tears, didn't you? <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> Yo, game, we can't say, actually say it. Oh yeah, we can't do that, huh? <laughs> we can't do it to me. Then we're going to kill me like that. Oh yeah. It's not the game acknowledging that we... Oh, yeah, we kind of forgot about that, huh? That was some quick thinking, Traveler. Huh? You look like something's bothering you. What's wrong? What is wrong, though? I didn't want to spoil the mood earlier, but when I purified the abyssal power of Inatea, I could sense something. Remnants of the power have existed with her body for years, corroded from inside. Did my best to cleanse that power just now, but it's already deeply integrated with her internal organs, leaving her as fragile as a dry leaf in the wind. Oh, oh, okay. Abyssal power still exists within her body. Immersing herself in hot water would accelerate the corrosion of her internal organs and the progression of her illness. No, 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 no pyro traveler. Something is blocking the co- Okay, can you stop? Can you please stop freaking lighting up? It's, it's not even Okay, Chad. That that wasn't even lighting. This is just lighting in the flashback because of the present. But but yeah, no power traveler. Something is cutting off the connection. I guess we maybe didn't pay the <laughs> we didn't we didn't pay our internet, so there are no connections. I mean, we don't know. Like they they try to ex talk about it. Oh yeah, we have no connection. It's not working. We don't know why the thing is not happening. So so yeah, no power traveler so far. Didn't pay the internet, so the connection is gone. <laughs> but yeah, uh, did they say some stuff about the Power Archon, which could be the reason, but we don't know yet because they need to talk to her. Be overdue. Yeah, it is what it happens sometimes, you know. You just forgot about it. It just, there's no connection anymore. <laughs> they cut it. We think Auntie Atea's illness has taken a turn for the better. 
uh, she could never come into contact with hot water before, and now she's visiting the hot springs every night. I mean, it's pretty obvious what that means, right? Hmm. I don't think she was going to the hot springs because she was recovering, but because she realized she, uh, her conditioning had taken a, a, a decision to turn to worse. Just wait, wait. Hmm. I don't think. Okay. Let me just read that. I know what he meant. Let me just read again. I don't think she was going to into the hot springs because she was recovering, but because she realized her condition had taken a, de a decisive turn uh, for the worse. I'm just not sure if I should tell Moalani. Hello, traveler. Maybe you can zone out some other time because Paimon can barely keep her eyes open. Let's head back for now. Ah, uh, thanks, Paimon. Thanks. Without leaving your in the heart, you return to the inn and rest until the next morning until it's time for a hot spring party. Oh dear. Oh, uh, this part is going to go great. Just great, huh, chat? Okay. Hey, yo, look at those moves. Not interested in hanging out with the other kids? Yo, Moalani with Ido, Benti, and Elon. The ghost Ben is for you in a store. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, I would kind of. Okay, I actually would love to see it. Moalani with Ido. Like, it would be something, I will say. Definitely something. For sure. Also, uh, guys, can you guys wait a little bit? I need to do something real quick. One thing too long. So I'll be right back. Let me just get something. All right. Just a moment, just a moment. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, sorry. Oh, speaking of Mulan Lenny, by the way, we already saw a lot of the characters. Well, at least the one that showed in the first trailer in 5.0. Casca and the other one that I still don't know how to say her name properly. Snacks not to your taste? Hot spring temperature too high? Hmm. Um, well, we know, you know. None of the above, huh? I heard you were the one who cleansed the abyssal power yesterday. <laughs> you sensed it, didn't you? Yeah, I, I kind of did. <sighs> I was hoping to keep it a secret for a few more days. Didn't want to ruin the celebrations and all. <sighs> but looks like it was no use. Hey, kid! Who, me? Oh, she's going to tell her. Yes, you. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Hey, uh, where are you going? Did something happen? Just going to get some air. It's too noisy in here. Ugh. You have fun. We'll be right back. Oh, and there are extra snacks in that box over there if they need replenishing. Bake them all fresh this morning. Hmm. All right. Sounds great. Oh. Uh. There, there we go. Mualani. Ooh. Yeah? <laughs> You've gotten so tall. You know that. Feels like just yesterday you were that rambunctious kid causing trouble all around the hot springs. <laughs> uh, it's like all that time passed in the blink of an eye. Tell me, how are your parents? Ugh. They're away on business. 
Seriously, Ateo, what's going on? You're acting strange. Oh yeah, they're away on business. We we know like you know, like uh, most characters are. By the way, Chen, this game, like, which parents? Like, we, we barely have any present parents in this game. Jean and Barbara parents gone. Like, Scara parents also gone. Well, not gone in the sense that they're not in the game, but you know, like I, I'm pretty sure almost no one in this game has actual parents. Honestly, they're just gone on a busy trip or just straight up dead. Traveler, did something happen? Both of you seem a little off today. Mm, yeah, about that. I guess I should explain. I wasn't visiting the hot springs because I was getting better. And that pylon yesterday, I didn't go face it by myself because I was reckless or too anxious to wait for reinforcements. It's because my body isn't going to last much longer. Your friends saved my life in that cave, and because of that, I got to enjoy this celebration with you all. But I'm just a few days shy of the end. The hot springs? <laughs> I'm just trying to enjoy them for as long as I have left. Oh. Uh. Mualani? That better not happen again, whether I'm here to catch you or not. That's what you said back at the artificial spring. I... I had a bad feeling then, but mm. I didn't want it to be true. I... wanted to believe you were actually recovering. <sighs> you want to know something? Recovery, death... To me, the two aren't all that different. Both are worth celebrating. Mm. <laughs> You've never been resurrected, so you might not understand. But Death and I? We're old pals by now. There's nothing sad about being reunited with an old friend. Oh yeah, casually. I don't worry, you know, we can die here, but we can re be revived, so it's all good. It happens, you know. It is what it is. I lived with regret for a long time. Regret that my illness meant I could no longer take to the front lines, especially as our nation slid deeper into crisis. Hmm. But yesterday, I was finally able to let go of that regret. Not only because I found the strength to fight the abyss, even at the end of my life, but because I got to see you in action, Mualani. Seeing you out there... It made me realize that I don't need to worry about our tribe or our nation's future. You have the capacity to bring us all together. <laughs> Mere responsibility. Also, yeah, by the way, I don't know if this happy music is necessarily a good music for this occasion. I don't think that's sad as... I didn't need it to be a sad music, but I don't know. It feels a little too happy for my liking, at least. Even if I was never injured. Old age would still take me one day. <sighs> but I've done what I needed to do. <clears throat> the future is in your hands now. Just remember, whether in life or death, Aww. I am always with you. Damn, and this traveler is sad there on the background. Seems like you've given this a lot of thought, Atea. Thank you for telling me all this. I'll do everything in my power to protect our tribe, our nation, and live up to the example you set for me. Good. Oh, and if any of you have the chance to meet with the Archon, could you give this to her for me? Yeah, what is it? A talisman I've carried with me my whole life. It may seem strange to say while I'm still alive, but just think of it as a relic I'm leaving for her. It's brought me good fortune in battle. Even after I became too sick to fight, I never took it off. Oh, hey, hello, young water. Hello, Shing. Oh, welcome back in this case. Yes, I'm still alive. We're still doing the Archon Quest, so we're still alive here doing this stuff. Just tell her... Are you crazy? It's okay. And my strength it's will. fine. She'll know what I'm trying to say. We didn't finish Act One yet. We're like, I, when I when I finish Act One, then I like I'm good now. So, but I haven't finished yet. So, so yeah. Don't worry, we'll make sure she gets it. 
<sighs> all right. That's all I wanted to say. Let's head back to the party. No use spending what little time I have left being sad. Hmm. Oh yeah, thanks. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Hurry up, there won't be any snacks left. Excuse me, what did I say about bathing in the hot springs on a full stomach? Hey, are you listening to me? Oh dear. Everyone has a great time amid the festival atmosphere. When it comes time to go at the SSR Fall. When she reaches your guru, uh she pats Madeline Maloney, okay. Life is a journey in which there's no turning back. So forge ahead and don't hold back. What I am interested to see though, I wonder where this first act is going to end. I'm curious. Is it going to end here or is it going to end still a little bit later? Oh, oh, speaking of it, it just ends here. Okay. Uh, after the pyro stages. Oh, okay. Okay, waiting to two days later. Uh, there are two acts, act one and two. I'm only doing act one now. I'll do act two later on, maybe on Saturday or Sunday, we'll see. I could even maybe wait for like, like a little more, but, but yeah, I'm not doing it today. Okay, 